Welcome to the Big Honker Podcast brought to you by Dive Bomb Industries. Get ready to go to Squad Fest. Make plans now. July 18th, 19th, 20th. Does that sound pretty right? My birthday. Uh, 19th, 20th. I July 19th, 20th, Friday. So be on Michelle's birthday. Bring her a present there. She's going to be there and bring her a cupcake with a candle in it. Anyways, welcome to the Big Honker Podcast. I'm Jeff Stanfield with the world famous Andy Shaver. I'm doing. I'm busy right now. I'm, this always gets caught right here on this when I move. So. I added my link to mine the other day. I wish I, yeah, so that's what I'm trying to do. With us today, the woman who birthed Andy, and now the woman who raises Andy now, his wife, Jesse and Michelle. How are y'all doing? Doing wonderful. We're doing good. Season's over. And before we get into this podcast, I need to take podcast back. Make sure to send Blake pics. He has sent me a dirty <laughs> message this morning from everybody that's been sending has him anybody pictures. Has sent, people have sent him one? He's had five so far. <laughs> that's ugly. Is that, is that that's a real sad. five, or is he... He said exaggerating five. it a he's, little bit. He said, I did not know what was going on. I got some pictures this morning. <laughs> and he said, the fifth one said, this is from this is for, for Jeff. Uh, and he goes, Jeff, I listen to podcasts now. Yeah. So, anyways, I really thought Andy would have edited it out Blake's phone <clears> Well, number. I th- was going to, but... Um, you forgot. Or did he's care. been preoccupied. Yeah, it's been uh, midnight every night before I get to go to bed. How much longer till your house is done? Well, I'm I'm not worried about when our I'm just worried about when my part of this is done. When will your part be done? Possibly this weekend. Let me ask you a question, Jeff. Our house is ever done? Oh, no. When is ours going to be done? I'm not even going to give you an answer. I'm ho- I mean, really give a shit when you broke. when no. you look at our house after this, we got a while before we <laughs> have to do anything. Else. Uh, bullshit on that. What's bad is how fast 10 years goes by. No kidding. Because you're Dad. supposed to do something, you know, rule of thumb, like repaint or whatever, yeah. every 10 years. Well, like, I repainted uh, a couple years ago, and Jesse was like, well, I mean, it's been about 10 years. And it's like, let's not go all out. Dad was like, all We mad. just got done with everything. Dad was mad to know that we were reflooring the living room because he helped me do that when we moved in. We just refloored that. I said, Dad. We got the cheapest thing. It was like 50 cents a square foot. Yeah. It cost us like $500 was all to do all of that. And I said, Dad, that was 10 years ago. <clears throat> I said, I think we got our $500 oh, yeah. out of it. Yeah. It's your money. Why does it care? I don't care what y'all are doing. Well, I mean, he just, said that we put all that work into it. And it, in his mind, things last longer than <laughs> 50 years. They really do. Because he's at the age. He don't want to jack with it again. No. I've got, we put a metal roof on so we would never have to roof our house again. So far, knock on wood, that's worked. We put rock <laughs> on the side. Kind of. Kind of. Rock, on, rock on the side of our house. Yeah. And metal. So we yeah, didn't have to redo it. And we've done it. We have one roof we need to replace now, the room we've done, and we need to redo that room. For about 20 years. And as long know, as I've been around. I, I don't yes. want to think about it <laughs> or talk trash. about it because. No, of course you don't. I'm, I'm figuring I'll die before then. I've cleaned, up. I've cleaned up my closet. He's like, hoping he will. He I cleaned out my closet in the back, and yeah. I cleaned out my other one today, and I've got to do my sock drawer. Now, folks, I'm, I'm, this is absolutely embarrassing. Was that your first time in 15 years you've my, done that? 30. My sock drawer. A sock drawer. I have a, a, grown man. A, a, a drawer with socks. I have two drawers full of just socks. And I started looking at them. I thought, I'll throw them away. I thought, you know what? I wear those. I I, I wear those socks sometimes. I like (laughs) them. And And it's crazy because in the summertime, I don't wear socks. I wear uh, boat shoes all all summer long. Oh, I bet those stink. I throw them away. I get new ones. Well, that's a problem too. Throw those away, but not his socks. Uh, Not his socks. I I, I, seriously, I bet I have a hundred pair of shoes too. I'm fixed to throw those away too. Easy. Easy. I, I've got a hundred pairs of shoes. I don't even have a hundred pairs of shoes. I've, Where do you keep them all? Under the bed. Uh, my, my, under our bed is full. In that, that in one closet, room closet is full. Hat. In boxes. 
No. Oh, fuck uh, no. I ain't keeping no boxes. No. When he thought room. he had well, his heart I'm, attack, I was trying to find his house shoes. I found one. I've always I thought I need to do like Michelle and keep them in the boxes because then you can actually like yeah. stack them up. No. And and you don't have enough room in your house for her shit. You know how many well, fucking closets that. she has? <laughs> yeah. I went in the closet in Andy's old bedroom the other day to put some up. That's Dylan's and Zach's. No, I have nothing in that room. Zach still has clothes in there? Uh, some of his EMT stuff in case he ever uh, work over here and jujitsu stuff. Yeah, we still got shit at Andy's from graduation. I'd say get rid of it. You can probably throw that I away. I like it. Oh. I like it. Okay. Well, I can remember whenever we would... Um, the Lord's chicken might be sending me to heaven right <laughs> He's now. He's dying, y'all. I've either got indigestion or a heart attack. Did I you don't... take a tum? <laughs> no, I'm drinking a Pellegrino. <clears throat> Whenever I spent the night, <laughs> number six. Brad Call, you just said I sent Blake a happy honeymoon pic. I don't think he's happy with you. Mm, yeah, just what you want on your honeymoon. Uh, um, <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, a bunch of wieners. Just don't show Emily. I can remember when I when we would spend the night with Grandma and Papa. They had all of their kids' shit, mm -hmm. and they were all gone. Oh, well, mom, mom kicked me out a long time ago. Because I can I can remember sleeping in one room that was Ross's whenever he left, and all. Oh, Everything was still there. Well, it's like good. he just walked out. Yeah, it's fun to. I like how she has everything still all hung up. Mm -hmm. But Dylan's not impressed with Britney Spears boobies. Well, <laughs> I'm not either. No think more many people, people are impressed she, with Britney Spears. About lately. Ten years ago, yes. Now, no. <laughs> she's always asking, "When can we take those down?" That bitch is crazy. She's so. Crazy. She's she has got mental problems. Let's I feel sorry that. for her. Britney Spears. Yeah, not Britney Dylan. Spears. <laughs> not Dylan. Not yet. Well, she will be one day. <laughs> that, I was thinking about that not too long ago. Like. Y'all are going to be mince meat to her before too long. Oh, it's You'll now. be mince meat mi to, mince meat to Dylan. Dylan and Reese, Reese pretty quick. within two. Well, you probably have two more years. Reese, they're both nine, right? Well, Dylan's, Dylan's about to be ten. So you got about two more years with them. And then well, they're going to. When they start getting active and they'd rather right. do all their things. Well, like Dylan wanted to pass. And... No, she wanted to trick or treat with and over in high school. Yeah. Well, yep. actually, she was going to pass out candy was all. Then the Abila scared her. So yeah, she's Mario, written, I'm going to get your little not, smurfy ass one day. She's not doing that ever again. <laughs> she she may pass out candy no, with you next year. She's Halloween off. She says, I'm done after <laughs> that. Creepy nun. But I mean, you're right about, about the kids. 12. Yeah, that, that's. She's, 12, 13. Th they're that's both. That's why we embrace it because we know that it's just. It's not going to last forever. No. When they're they're going to be around us because they have to be. That's what I'm saying. It was a blessing for When Reese starts taking long showers, he'll be done hanging out with us much. Right. I mean, that's just the way it is. Dylan is already getting with her friends. She did text Michelle yesterday and said, I'm going to come stay night. with y'all this said, weekend. Can I please come stay with y'all this weekend? I said, so... And I said, it's a Friday, and let's take you to the game Saturday or after the game Saturday. And she said, after the game. Because she's out Friday. of school okay. tomorrow. Oh, well, because yeah, yeah. Reese was asking if she, he told me to ask if she could go to the basketball game with us tomorrow. Well, she's got a game too Saturday. So right. I don't know what time. I don't know any of that. that I'm betting you money that I've that's probably, end up what happens. I've got the schedule for Saturday. Do you not know what time I just Saturday? don't know what time she would need to be there. I, uh, hold on. I've but I, I wouldn't be surprised if I guess. But that's the way kids are. I yeah, mean, that's just, you wanted to I did not way. have, I did not have that childhood. I did not, I did not grow up around my cousins. I didn't grow up getting to go to my grandparents more than once or twice a year. And, and see, I wished I would have because like, yeah, Michelle was very lucky. She got to meet her grandparents all the time. Grandparents, great grandparents, great, great grandparents. And, and I, I never experienced all that. And that's why it's so important to me that we do all the things we do as a family. Because me and, me and Tony were the, the black sheep of the family. Not black sheep. You just were Lived away. Yeah. I think my black dad was the Courtney black sheep. I think my family. dad was the black sheep of the family. Well, that could be. Ron that. went off and fought and got drunk, joined a band. Not and fought in the army or anything he did, like that. He did all the shit he wasn't supposed to do. No. And I mean, I, I that's why I just love having the grandkids around all the time because... That's how I grew up. Like mom, every weekend, that's where we were. We were in rural. Me too. We were in Vernon <clears throat> every weekend. My mom told me a story when my dad and her first got married. They went back and stayed at Buffalo at my grandparents for a weekend or something. And my dad went out with his buddies one night, and he come home real drunk, and he threw up all over my grandma's house. Oh, my god! He said, my, my grandma was not a little lady, and she did not put up with any shit. She chased a grizzly bear Chris's off Chris's of mom? Your no, mom's mom? my dad's mom. Oh, my grandma Stanfield. Because I was going to no, say, I can Cordy see that from tiny. No, Grandma this Cordy was an English lady. She wasn't going to do much. Who threw up in the vent? That's my uncle BG upstairs. Threw up in their heater oh, vents. <laughs> so it's no. dripping downstairs. The floor vents. Oh, my grandpa was pissed. Good oh, reason to not have an upstairs house. My uncle BJ was kind of a fuck up though, because he also uh, wrecked my mom's car twice. She had a brand new Mustang when she turned nineteen, and he Don't wrecked it twice. He had a lot of fun. Don't call him. A that's screw her up. brother. Yeah, my Uncle okay. BG. 
But my dad, my, my grandma Stanfield, my dad's mom, chased a grizzly bear off of the pot. He was trying to get into her bacon one time in Yellowstone, and she grabbed a, a frying pan, chased after a bear. Oh my my Uncle gosh. Steve, my Uncle Steve told me that story. I think I'd let him have my food. She mm-hmm. said bear didn't know what he was getting into, though. She's a mean old woman. <laughs> but anyways, she, she, my mom said she was not very happy with my dad. She made him go sleep outside. She was pissed. And she goes, I really think if he wasn't her child, she would have killed him. <laughs> Even then, she debated. Y'all never knew dad when he was drinking and when no. dad was a hard-headed. No. Y'all knew he, he was hard-headed, but not the, My dad was not easy to get along with when he was, been, when well, he was drinking he was always or just all the time? Oof. He was hard-headed until he died. But, yeah, but drinking Ron yeah. was no fun to be around. Was he mean? Uh, just, just belligerent. Oh. Not physically mean, just he just didn't. And now when y'all went to, or what? Just embarrassing. When you went to Alaska, was he still drinking? No. He'd quit drinking by then. How long? I mean, that's probably been, what, 30, Dad years never, ago? since I've been in the hunting business, Dad had no, quit drinking I mean, before he ever got that you went to Alaska. We went to ago? Alaska 30 years ago, probably. When did he quit drinking? About 35 years ago, probably, or about, about three or four years before we got in the hunting business. And that was, and he just swore it off. Filtered he swore everything why? off. Why? Because everybody has a... Um, well, Rock probably because I, me and Tony were getting, we weren't going to speak to him no before he drank. Dad was great in the mornings. I'd go eat breakfast with him. He was great. But by four or five o'clock, he'd start drinking. By nine o'clock at night, if he'd call it, it wouldn't answer the phone. Kind of like some people in Oxy that call me sometimes. Mm-hmm. When they're drinking, I don't even answer the phone. I, I'll call him tomorrow when he's sober. But dad just drank a lot. He drank beer until night and then he drank whiskey. He said he could reach, he said he had all the liquor stores mapped out on Southwest Parkway. He could buy six pack here and by the time he got to the next one he'd buy a six pack here oh crap and then he could reach back and crack the bottle of whiskey with one hand drive with the other and then crack it plug it guarantee he had a cigarette in there i can't even fathom somebody putting that much liquid in their body i feel so but i feel so miserable (laughs) like especially i mean i used to always drink beer But I have switched because Oof. you get three beers Bloody. and you feel like Bloody. you've ate two big Thanksgiving meals. My dad was like being like... around a teenager. Mm-hmm. One, my best friend in high school was an alcoholic. He's passed away, but his drinking is what cost him his life. When I was 16 years old, he was a lot of fun to be around. Yeah. Because he, he would drink. We'd go out at nighttime. And this is how screwed up the world was, but how much eat better it was, too. So this is really oh, weird. Thank God. In the eighties, no, that's like we would three. we would we would go out sixteen years old, and we would stop. We had a place in town we could buy beer underage, and if there was four of us, we'd buy two or three cases of beer, two or three cases of beer with four sixteen year old kids. You know how stupid that shit is. We would drive. Well, luckily, you were saving luckily, it up. luckily oh, one of us, <laughs> luckily one of us didn't drink a lot, and he was the driver, which was me. Yeah, that's a big. But one. we would drink. <laughs> they would drink all them beers every night. I mean, we would go. The cooler would be empty when we go home at night. Be- but don't you? I always look back at some of those friends that I partied with, and now I'm like, mm, that makes sense. What their life's like now, because so, the ones that like were really, really, really hardcore, yeah. hard still struggle, paint. still struggle with it. I had three guys that I hung out with a lot. That if I'd have been in a car with all three of them at the same time, which I was a couple of times, they're all dead now. Mm-hmm. Every one of them because of alcohol. Everyone, two of them died because of alcohol. One of them died because he started doing everything else besides alcohol. But don't you but look back? They and think all that way that made sense. Yeah, the, it was. They were alcoholics when we were younger. I didn't realize <laughs> it. One of them was an alcoholic when we were in junior high. He used to bring those little airline bottles of Jack Daniels Golly. to school, and we would think, "Oh, that's so fucking cool." Yeah. And that's stupid. Yeah. I mean, you look now, you look back, but I think some of it had to do with the freedoms that we had at the age growing up, <laughs> where we didn't have, we weren't accountable for stuff. If we got yeah. pulled over by the cops, first of all, we knew most of the cops. I grew up in a town of a hundred thousand people, but we still knew a lot of the police officers. We get pulled over. I, you boys drinking tonight? Jeff, are you drinking much? Y'all pour that shit out. You Jeff know, and, drive them home. And, yeah. yeah. Who? Which one of y'all hadn't drank the most? You, you're, you're driving tonight. It was that way all the time. Well, they did that to us when we got the ticket, but then they gave us tickets. They said, "Y'all oh. pour that out, and by the way, you drive home, here. and here's your your tickets will be well, mailed to your are, house. The cops are liable now, aren't they? Well, yeah. Are you having a heart attack? <laughs> no, yes, just maybe. indigestion. I think. It, I, how from was it that's 12 spicy? hours ago I, my shoulders hurting we 12 just, hours ago i don't know i'm just uncomfortable but the cops are liable now aren't they yeah you back then there was no, there was no cameras right if the cop oh, makes yeah. contact with somebody and oh. then they you tell them i'll just go home and then they have right. a, 
an accident, accident and three of them die Can on the way home and kill five more that's the cop's fault now i i have a and it I, should be one of my teachers in high school was she was probably in her mid-20s when we were seniors in high school looking back now she probably was not a really good person to have teaching <laughs> 16 17 18 year old boys but when we got of age to drink she was at the bars all the time still so she wasn't even 30 yet and we were at the bars but uh, one of our buddies, his dad, his brother was a police officer. She had a wreck one night, and she called him because she was too drunk, didn't remember what she was going on. He'd come over to the house in the cop car and helped her out and shit. But nowadays, the cops can't do stuff like mm-hmm. that. There were a lot of really good things about my youth growing up. Right. But I'm sure kids, there was also a lot of bad, too, yeah, but looking back. Kids, kids were just a different breed. We had, we had more freedoms. I don't know that we had more drunk driving and stuff than we do now. I, d- I don't know what the statistics no would be on it. Were... See, I, I was a junior in high school when they started making you wear yeah. seatbelts. Or they a were... senior. might have been a senior well, when nowadays, they put the seatbelt law. Everybody's laws. looking to sue. Uh, sophomore I mean, junior. Yeah. Anything that happens, somebody's going to sue somebody. Right. People, so... were, people were tougher. If you went somewhere, there was a fight. Nobody got shot or stabbed. Yeah. Just a whole different world. But some of the things that we got by with probably were not really good. Like, like no. my friend that I'm not going to say his name that died that drank so much he probably if we'd have been a little bit more accountable mm-hmm. but his parents were to blame for a lot of that they didn't they kind of shut it a blind eye to him his parents were either really really naive maybe or they didn't, didn't really know care as that much. much that he surely they didn't know he was taking mm-hmm. little airline bottles to the oh school God. they, they blamed they, it on Jeff my. I was always but I don't know I was always the one that got him in trouble Hmm. It's probably what he went home and said. Not because I come home sober every night and he'd be drunk. Hmm. We go to Waterburger. We had a, a route every night. We'd go out. We'd go to Waterburger, and now it's a bus stop in Wichita Falls. It's a shitty or Burger King, which is the same thing as a bus stop, shitty place. Anyways, we'd go there at nighttime, and we didn't have no money. We were poor kids. A taquito was sixty nine cents probably. We might have five bucks between us, but there was this big oversized black girl. She was o- she was overnourished. Yeah, we always met. And looking back now, beer. we always managed to come up with beer money. Beer wasn't expensive back then though, but we would go there and we would talk this girl into giving us free food in the drive thru all the time. Every fucking night we'd get the same thing. Oh, hey boys, <laughs> you give probably us went when they were about to close. Throw they it didn't all close. Out. They were open twenty four hours a day. But Are they go. still? Yeah, we'd or be they there were we, when we were at college because I passed out in the drive thru yeah, one time. Yeah, that's a family tradition, I think. <laughs> Who else? Did that? Monty. Yeah, his aunt Jennifer. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah. She had a hamburger. Nobody but... woke me up. I <laughs> somehow oh. woke up on my own. And... They woke up my auntie. <laughs> my, my buddy would get drunk and we would go to my house. He was really drinking because he, could, he didn't want to mess with his parents. And my mom and dad knew I was. I was pretty smart. I was really good. I didn't have a curfew because I was always pretty smart. Whenever else went in, I'd go in. Anyways, he'd pass out, and I swear he'd use the hamburger as a pillow some nights. He'd have it next to his head, get to our house. He had mustard and pickles all down him and oh stuff. Gosh. But we probably would have been better off to have someone really. Some discipline. Someone to say, hey, you guys don't need to drink like that. Yeah. Blah, blah. I wasn't drinking like that, so I didn't go home drunk, so I didn't have a problem. Well, my parents knew that I drank, but they didn't know that I was getting drunk before one act play practice. Mine so, knew that I drank, but they didn't know we got drunk at lunch. Yeah. <laughs> that, but, but so see, that's, that's what I'm that, saying. Your friend. That's that accountability, was, though. I mean, we didn't drink all day long. We just drank during mm. lunch. But just a bottle of Boone's Farm. T- today, kids oh, don't yeah. get by with that, no. and they're better well, off there's closed campus. than what we were. You watch Dazed and Confused. That is our childhood to a T, even though I'm younger than that. So I think that's the numbers right there. Um, it's going back uh, up. Well, that's because of COVID right there. Um, the uh, yellow is number of crashes, crash death involving drunk drivers. So in 83, 21,000. Fuck. Went way down. Percent of all fatal crashes. 20% of, 20% of all 48% of all fatal crashes were due to drinking. You're saying it went up during COVID? Probably. Yes. I thought more it was going to go down because people, people, people drank stayed home. And drank. I think more people drank and then during got COVID. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but I wonder why it had bottomed before that. Just probably the law. Accountability. Okay. The seatbelt law came into effect around 83 or 84. When that thing starts dropping off right. is when the seatbelt law come around. I can't remember exactly what year it is, but I remember I was in high school we when it came out. We were in high out. school. Because we drive around Kemp Street, and one of my buddies had a convertible Mustang, 
and it had the lap belts in it and the motorcycle cop would always pull in and look in to make sure yeah because we all all the girls were worried but how can we save our boyfriends now well you got a lap belt stupid. this says nearly all nearly half of all fatalities in 82 the year before this involved alcohol 48 percent. so see we it was worse and, 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 you know, I went to school to big school, but we still had someone get killed every year in an accident. Every year we lost somebody in our class. We, I know. I mean, we, we probably did. only had one in Knox City in the last 20 years. Well, yeah, you went to, I went to, I graduated with 400 people. I know, but. I had a class, a class that I was in that the kid in front of me and the kid across from me got killed in car wreck. Mm. Two different car wrecks. And a kid, another oh, kid God, that was in yeah. that class ran into the kid that one of the kids got killed. Mm. So three kids in my class were involved in fatal accident in one class. I'm talking a class of 25 people, a government class, wow. maybe 20 kids. Does it matter what class it was? What well, if it was no. home ec? Wouldn't there have been more? No, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I, can, well, I can remember. I can't remember you telling me to take out the trash. You but I can sure remember cannot. so much shit from or when I was Or to clean out your sock drawer. Yeah. But, but alcohol was so just, it was just a different time. And I hate and my I hate my grandkids are not going to go through some of the good things about that. Not the not the drinking and like stuff. Like the drunk driving? No. <laughs> I just wish that we lived in an America. I am a sucker for old movies. I watched Airport from 1970 yeah. last night and I love that movie. I love watching movies made in the 70s because it showed how the world was. There was no fat asses hardly then at I wish, all. I wish the kids grew up like playing with the neighborhood kids and, you know, you, you can't find a kid playing in the street no more. Well, we don't even have neighborhood kids. No, we, no. Have we, kids. Have, um, we live in an old the community. Bosworths, or does that, yeah, yeah. The Bosworths that, I mean, those kids are 10 years older than Reed. Not we live 10, in an old but, community. But but if you lived in Abilene, where Justin lives, Hill, in his neighborhood, I'm sure he has a lot he of kids. There ain't no kids <laughs> playing outside. And you probably, yeah, you probably. Well, they're off at to. this practice or that practice or. Yeah. The me, boys have been playing outside a lot since it's warmed up. Me and Michelle were in um, Upper West Wisconsin a couple of years ago in the fall, and school was out, and there was kids walking down the streets everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I thought, this looks like where I grew up at. Mm -hmm. Not the, not the neighborhood and the, the pretty trees and shit, but just the kids walking and doing things. When's the last time you saw a group of kids playing football or baseball outside in the neighborhood? Oh, well, like None. yesterday. You saw football kids playing football? No, Ooh. basketball. The Bosworth kids I didn't kids say do. basketball. I said football or baseball. What's that matter? Because basketball is the thing that everybody plays now because everybody's got a hoop at their well, house. Well, it's you also still basketball season. You still don't see, like down the street from us, one of them neighbors on 4th Street has a basketball goal. Yes. And every once in a while you go by and, be, and I'll have to stop and the kids come by. And it's funny. That's as right because it's a lot easier to play basketball it, it with is. two kids. You yeah. play one on one. It, it, I it, mean, how are you going to play baseball? It is, but you don't, you don't see you pickup just, game. But when I was growing up, it was football. Every neighborhood there was a there would be an empty lot or something where kids played football every day. Yeah, they played smear the queer. They played three on three. They played whatever. They played the game. That's this the thing. video will not go. Why? I'm, I'm kidding. I'm queer, kidding. What is I queer? I said uh, odd. Okay, what's wrong with that? Smear, smear the, the odd, odd guy. Smear the there odd you go. kid. Okay, that's yeah. what you always did. Okay, so back to talking about the drinking and the all the statistics and stuff. Do you think maybe there was a whole lot more drinking also because anyone could buy it? I mean, you, yeah, anyway, it was so accessible. They didn't have d a digital IDs like they had right. now. We like, had fake IDs. We, we got, had fake driver's license. There was a guy in town. You could buy it for thirty bucks. And right they just had. The and when you went to the liquor store, they just looked at it with their they eyes, didn't not even a care. scanner. And yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because I remember when we went to bars, they had scanners. So you couldn't really go get a fake ID made. You had to have a friend that would give you their ID yeah. because the it only, had to be scannable. The only fake ID I had was, was your friend was Chris Pruitt's. Yeah, that's the only one I ever I had, had. Fake driver's license. I had it. Well, there was a guy in town that had a driver's license machine. And it looked like you. It was a picture was, of you. Yeah. Ardell. We would go, like I, I said, across the street. But that was from, usable because somebody just looked at it. Yeah, and, and like I said, they didn't even care. Those people yeah. out at the chaparral knew. But but they had a magnet. They didn't have the magnetic strips in them. They they. Yeah. I don't know how kids have fake IDs. We got the night you didn't go to Old Reds with us. We got ID'd. Yeah. Me and Michelle. Now Michelle looks younger than me, but she still damn sure ain't no twenty one. I think that's I mean, just they just ID everybody. I think to make every it single person. Yeah. They have, by, it, yes. I mean, it doesn't make flattered. their job any easier no. or harder. I mean, that's what they're there for, uh -huh. so they but might as well. There. Let me see. But we didn't have the digital IDs. But I had a fake ID. It was a real driver's license. Mine he just went too. and got another one. It was a real one. But no, it was his real but license. But I mean, mine had my picture. My buddy Randy uh, Black's brother, Jeff, had one that everybody at Ryder High School used because Jeff Black looked like he was 14 when he was 30. And it was Randy's older brother, and he was four years older than us, I guess. So he was 
it, when we were juniors and seniors in high school, he was 22 or 23. And I was with Randy many times when uh, John Miley used to borrow it all the time. Hey, can I borrow Randy's or Jeff's ID? And he'd go to, you know, Frank's eight ball and stuff. They'd use fake IDs. But kids, I, I had my friend's fake ID and she was probably seven years older than me and about six inches taller than me. And I went to a bar one day, one day and the guy was like, that's not you. I said, yes, it is. He said, no, it's not. What color are your eyes? And so I guessed and he said, well, what's your middle name? And I was like, uh, I don't know what that is. He said, yeah, you can go home. And he took my friend's ID. Oh, he wow. kept it? And, yeah, he kept it. I was he, I was like, can I have the ID back? He was like, no, I'm going to keep it. And oh. so I had to message my friend later and tell her, well, they were about to go out of the country for something. And she had Crap. she needed to go get her passport. Oh. So she ended up going to the bar and getting her ID back and just telling them my little sister stole it or whatever. And they gave it back to her. But it's a, she was not happy with me. Kids today, I, do, do kids <laughs> do kids go to clubs no more? Do kids get out of know. the house anymore? I don't know. But honestly, um, my friend, she was from Lubbock. And so everybody already knew her at the bars. So she didn't have to use an ID to get in because everyone knew her. Back to do kids go to clubs or get out anymore and i'm not slamming knock city or anything and i don't know where it was because there were a lot of people i didn't see the other night there wasn't like a kid a student section at the basketball game like when we grew up the all the high school or whatever would just be clumped together mm -hmm. screaming hollering i didn't see that i think school spirit is down at a lot of pl most places and stuff people people just don't care about stuff anymore i mean you can look at sporting events are way down that's what i'm saying I didn't see any high school kids there, but I also wasn't scanning the crowd for that. Well, the cheerleaders and well, they, they had a couple people five. right. Yeah. There's they twelve, people, there's, people, there's 12 people in front of us. Yeah. the student section. But, I mean, that's we sad. Uh, we also kids. We we lost a whole new a, a group of kids when we got rid of the uh, the kids cruising around in cars. Cars are expensive. Gas is expensive. Gas is high. Kids don't even care about getting driver's license anymore like they used to. I could fill but my old tank watched, up for five bucks yeah. if I scrounged out of the I, car I, seat. I, and that was two we hours. We used week, to do that I in drove Megan's a of a car. It's two hours worth of work back then. Two hours worth of work. You made three thirty five an hour when I was in school for five bucks. You could fill up a vehicle, and oh, wow. and, and that would be it. Nowadays, yeah. and get a burrito. Nowadays, to fill up a vehicle costs a hundred bucks, and there ain't no kid making fifty dollars an hour. Yeah. They you think imagine they filling it. my car up now. Days. I always no. loved riding around. We did that all the time. And even sometimes after I get Reese, he'll say, where are you going? I'll make a drag to uh -huh. listen to the radio, a couple songs on the radio. And yeah, there's never any no kids. kids. No kids. kids. They I'm the only know. one making a drag. drag. I think like it's so after funny every when... football game, we just ride yeah, around. That's what or we did. Scal's brothers. People talk about Knox City and a drag. I always thought it was so What's funny. Drag? Because I, I was Go used to a big, long drag. No, no, no. I know where it's at. But it's just, and, it's, just, and Jack. it's just crazy because... If you really a, a small town is so different than a bigger town, mm -hmm. it's it's crazy. But the kids, well, in the you big had towns, more areas to drag. <laughs> no, we dragged down Kemp Street, and it was huge. There was thousands yeah. of kids doing the same shit. If you went to L.A., it was somewhere Fort Worth. Yeah. The bigger we you go to, the, the bigger drag. Yeah. There wasn't much more we could no. do. Sometimes you go to the tracks on the west side of town. My, I was in Buffalo, Kansas, at my grandparents, and I was probably fourteen or fifteen. And my aunt Cheryl, I rode with her, and I'll never forget her telling me this. She goes, "Hey, we'll take a drag." We drove, what? we drove three blocks and we turned around and come back. I mm -hmm. thought, God, what a boring, um, what a boring place to live. But yeah. there was probably oh, so many no. fun things to mm -hmm. live in a small yeah. town. You just don't realize. But no, what, when what, everyone was out, it was like everyone would honk at each yeah. other and have the windows yeah. down. And our the kids are always blaring, and our kids will always know what it is because Jameson will say, "Are we making a drag?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's, but but they need that. But I love it. kids don't have that. They don't have that social deal because they're all always on their phone. They can communicate right here. We, we Well, that's what I was going to say about the games. That's probably why the kids, they, they don't socialize yeah. as much as yeah. we did because they they're stuck how. on their phones. Yep. Says only 16, only a quarter of 16-year-olds have a driver's license compared to 50% in 1983. You lived for that And that day. was almost 10 years ago. So well, I guarantee parents you this probably can't is, afford vehicles anymore. Well, but yeah, but this get a license. Right down. This right says right here that 76% of 20 to 24-year-olds have a driver's license compared to 91% in 1983. Is that because more I, live in big, big cities? City, big city kids don't get licensed yeah. because right. that's the problem the we have don't have license. With, with fuel prices and stuff. You get the big conglomerates. Now, LA is a place that people drive all the time. Right. But in New York City, the biggest metropolitan Boston, area, Boston, nobody, yeah. Yeah, they take That's public transportation, a subway, or, or walk. walk. Yeah. 
And well, those people live in a three block radius. If right. you live in Harlem, <clears throat> most everything. everything you do is within three blocks of you. I think so many people nowadays, they um, everybody wants to keep up with the Joneses. So I think that when people are buying their kids' car, they think they have to do it big or like they don't buy anymore the little clunker. Cheap, yeah. People don't buy the little clunker cars clunker anymore. Like the one I got. That's all people drive is clunkers. I mean, for kids, for school, what do you mean? All you see is these little cheap little fucking Ford Fiesta cars everywhere. Someone at the Ford Fiesta is going to be upset now that, that I said it. But, I mean, it's true. That's that the You don't In see. In Knox City? Anywhere you go anymore. They don't make well, big not, vehicles. I mean, not many kids at Knox City drive, but, but most of the time, it's going to be something nice. Mom's Tahoe stuck out like a sore thumb everywhere we were on the West Coast. Why? Because it's, they drive EVs tiny cars. or little cars everywhere. Well, that's Even parking wild. lots aren't strapped for big vehicles. Your car is not t- is hard to park at a parking lot in a big city. Yeah. Because everything's made for fucking little compact cars. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> that burp went right in my ear. You still hurting there, bud? <laughs> yeah. Yes, he is. That's why he's not even <clears throat> talking, talking much. His face is kind of white. I'm doing you the. I'm doing the research. Bit. I'm backing up whatever no, y'all are well, saying. You're looking pretty light. Like to conversate with you do you he's, andy let me ask you a question since today's the big cyber attack or solar flare no, so I was just, they it's say people are already not having service and i've had AT- service all day AT&T. It's like no no it's not just at&t verizon and verizon and t-mobile all yeah. three are dirt told issues. me they're out of all phone service where they're at it's uh, i just read an article 95 percent of it's back online is don't it back worry, online solar you, so maybe it happened in our town when we were all asleep no i don't uh, think verizon it's at and verizon it's mostly I, at&t but i saw one of my friends who had verizon said they that said they, their phone verizon wasn't working mobile cricket all of it a paper talk what, what some people call that paper minute they buy minutes all the time ed straight talk <laughs> straight, yeah, straight talk. talk all that yeah. shit was all at&t a lot of them but I don't buy the I don't buy the solar, solar flare. flare. I'm, I'm sure it was a Chinese cyber well, attack. This, uh, data dump appears to reveal China's hacking. Sur- oh no, that doesn't have anything to do with this. Data dump. Um, but in, what was your question? Shit, what was I going to ask you a question about? Oh, uh, I, about the solar. I was going to ask you if you really thought we were if it was a solar flare or a cyber yeah. attack. We're, we're not. They've already got our information. What the hell are they hacking yeah, for? Yeah, they keep, keep they it communication down. Yeah, yeah. Let's ask Payne. Can you can tell us? Well, hmm. he's not in a good mood today. <laughs> he's well, a terrible oh, mood. Oh, because he's got to work? <laughs> no, well, that, yeah, I'll <laughs> pray for that. He's probably getting his ass chewed at work. He just said he was in a shitty mood. He's, he's got some shit going on. And he's like, in a terrible mood. I don't even look at my phone for the last three days. Well, so yeah, maybe uh, China was we're hacking. Get, we're getting it. We've, it. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure. Hopefully they knew before us. He's having to work today. Yeah. Anything happens. This was he not supposed to? Oh no, I, that's not. No. I mean, no. it is a Thursday. <laughs> no, well, yeah, he, he, he don't put in, but about three hours a day or three days a week, anyway. He had Monday like. off. You know, it was a holiday. Um, I had texted Brett and asked him. I was like, uh, I, "Monday's a holiday." I was just wondering if y'all were coming or not. And he we're said, not "Well, government. it's not my president, so I'm working." <laughs> it was a dumbass day. <laughs> I said, "Well, I knew you weren't going to get paid if you didn't work, so I figured you were probably coming." Yeah, them holidays are designed for people that work for federal buildings, or federal right. deals, or big schools, big woke businesses that are afraid to offend somebody. Everybody else went to work. Yeah. I don't give a shit if it's MLK Day, Columbus Day, President's Day, Valentine's Day, Flag Day, you know, whatever it is. Christmas and Thanksgiving and maybe New Year's Day is about the only days we take off. It's a shame the Veterans, of the Veterans Day should be a federal holiday. I mean, it is a federal holiday, but it should be something that's more closely um, used and embraced, and it's not our Memorial Day. But uh, the day we could add some, some days of holidays. Voting. The day that you vote should be a federal holiday where everything's closed down so people will fucking go work. Have no reason to. And then uh, the day after the Super Bowl would be a good day to have. <laughs> I don't understand why we celebrate Columbus Day. I don't understand why that's it's a day. It's a fake holiday. He never even set foot in America. Because the Italians did it a long time ago. And as an Italian, <laughs> but I don't, he's my ancestor. I, it I is, don't get it. I he agree. didn't even find America. I, he I, never stepped foot in America. Why are we taking a day off? He's, should we call it Leif Erickson Day? I I mean, we no, just move it to the day after the Super Bowl. I, I, I'm with you on that one. Can Other than petition? it gives us a holiday in October. Start a petition. But I think that's what it is. I think it's just like we got to space out these holidays to where like every quarter we're giving these people a day off. Okay, let's take Columbus Day away and do day after Halloween. Because Halloween's big. You don't want to have to go home early. Sadly, Halloween is surpassing Christmas as a holiday for a lot of people for celebrations. Not because, first of all, I've had a couple of preacher buddies of mine that they go way overboard on this. I like Halloween. I like what it stands for, scaring and tricks. But it's not, 
I'm not fucking worshiping the devil here. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to Taylor Swift concert. Some people are, but most people aren't. No, it's just it's, it's a make believe holiday fun. for kids. It's fun. Yeah. Same as Easter. We went from Jesus to Easter bunny and eggs and having deviled eggs and ham at dinner. I mean, that's what it's went to. Uh, Halloween is getting trying to make it into a satanic deal. It's not. It's just a fun thing for kids. Well, like I said, there are some people who do. And the think reason it's behind a satanic it. thing, but yeah, I get it. But we don't like. Yeah, that's not have, what. No, we don't you, have you go to you go to church every time the doors are open. Do you celebrate Halloween? Yeah. Well, yeah, of course you do. I'm not being satanic. No, about it's it. about I mean, it's a fun, fun time for, for your kids. bingo. But <laughs> people, for some reason, can't differentiate between stuff like that. Yeah. You know. I just, I don't know, but I, I'm with you, Andy, on Columbus Day. <coughs> I would agree that it's a made-up holiday. Well, it's just silly. I don't even know how we got to, how we got to where that was a thing. Silly. Should we call it, uh, should, should we have like, a Mayflower Day then instead? Because the Pilgrims came here. <clears throat> Someone got here. But it, I just, I, I just think they're like, well, fuck, we need to take a day off in October. It's probably where it Columbus. Came from, honestly. Columbus. Our, the whole American history and a lot of things that we do from the Mayflower, you know, they act like the Mayflower come pulling up in Plymouth Rock or in Plymouth, and these Indians were out there and had a party for them when they walked up and everything was wonderful. Welcome, they, welcome, they thought welcome. they were going to starve to death, Mm-mm. and Squanto and the Indians showed them how. Felt to, bad for them. They showed them how to survive and kept them around. So what then, happens when you take people in. But, yeah. mm-hmm. but we take over your country. We were, they were trading wampum for pelts. And that was what the whole thing was about. That's the whole Plymouth colony was set up as a fur trading deal to make the the English rich. You know, they sent a bunch of Protestants over there, I believe. And wasn't it Protestants they sent over there? I believe so. I think so. And to, to you know, they were kind of what's it called when you get kicked out of the church? Excited. Uh, ex- excommunicated. Yeah. excommunicated. They excommunicated them from the church, and they started their own colony. But they were there to make money for the government. The the Dutch were doing the same thing. You know, in the Hudson River, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And that in Hudson River, he did not invent the river either. Oh, he made it. Don't you look at me when you talk about history? <clears throat> he made it. Because you get confused very easy on history. <laughs> I'm kidding. But, me and Michelle are just over here listening. But the whole thing is... <laughs> is, is but when I was a kid growing up, and me and Michelle were kids growing up, I don't know about y'all as much, but it was really a romantic story about the pilgrims and the Indians and the first Thanksgiving and yeah, finding was. America. Was always, that was always one of my favorite holidays to celebrate at school. Yeah. I loved it. Could you imagine this? You've got kids in school and I don't think they've taught them this yet, but what are they going to talk about? Now it's indigenous people. Indigenous. And yeah. it's how we stole them and we mutilated them and we massacred them and all this other bullshit. They don't teach it. And so they miss out on the part of America's being good. Me and Michelle are watching a show called the Pacific right now, which is a great series on Netflix. Michelle, cries every episode it is a very very good episode <laughs> so is it like that's in. like band of brothers isn't it's, it? it's yeah. awesome but it's in guadalcanal and it's just steven spielberg and dickhead tom hanks did the same same deal yeah. it is a very very good series and we've just started it the reason i cry is because i always think of like my granddad being in that mm-hmm. right yeah. there and your, those... your granddad was in germany in the shit though he was in band of brothers <laughs> jeffrey <But> she, <laughs> Different she show. just means You're right or pain being over yeah. there or i mean the crap I mean, pain would never. I mean, they don't fight like that anymore. But which the one? My what gosh. did we just watch? Was it called American Nightmare? American Nightmare. Did you watch that? No, but that they say to watch. The, is it scary or no. no? It's a three. It's a three. It's a three episode documentary. So, did y'all ever watch Gone Girl with Ben Affleck? Uh, no. I okay. Think no. Um. So. I think I read the book. So basically, you probably did. I did. Basically, the the this is a very. It's a. 100% true story. Guy and his girlfriend are asleep one night. <clears throat> Gets well, woken are you going to tell them the whole thing? I'm going to watch I'm gonna give them okay, the premise. Synopsis. Okay, good. I think I read good. the book. I think. Guy well, and, this isn't... Oh, okay. This isn't about the book. Oh. Guy and a girl are asleep. Middle of the night. Three o'clock in the morning. Somebody comes in. Zip ties them. Takes the girl. So it's kidnapping. Tells the guy... Don't call the cops. I've got video cameras set up in here. I'll be able to see everything that you do. Anyway, he wakes up, waits a couple hours, calls the cops, doesn't know what else to do. Well, in a kidnapping or in anything, in any crime, the person that you look at first is the person that calls 911. A lot of times, the person that commits a murder is the one that calls 911. So they're looking at this kid as a suspect. 
two days later, she shows up at her parents' house four, 400 miles away. Just shows up out of nowhere. And, and that's like, kind and of... Like the, they show a video of her, like, walking, walking and, you know, doesn't look harmed, looks cool and composed. And, so this and, was this happened right after the movie Gone Girl came out. And Gone Girl is the same thing. She gets taken. Ben Affleck calls the cops. They look at him as a suspect. A week later, the lady that got taken in Gone Girl just shows up with blood all over her, blood all over her, yeah, right? Yeah. So it's the same thing. So they're saying that it's a copycat of the movie that had just come out, <clears throat> and, and, that it's a hoax. and that it's a big hoax. Well, and, because in Gone Girl, remember she had set it all up, like she had. Yeah. Like I'm so this, fucking lost. Well, here. She, she had made this big production. She had gotten taken and. But it was all she'd made it up. So you tell people they need to watch this. This yes, is good. It's yeah. very good. There's, Thank good. You. There's three episodes. Good. It's a quick and I like that about Netflix. Yeah, yeah. I don't if they like, drag on like six. You're kind of over it. Yeah, by you're then. over this it by one's the end 10. because they usually well, drag it out when you're like, okay, it's that, unnecessary details. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've got it figured like out. Two episodes of the same details, but right. in different perspectives, where you're like, that wasn't really necessary. I would rather watch a series that's six seasons long and has ten or twelve episodes because really get into it. Like me and Michelle watched Downton Abbey, and it was like five seasons. I can't get into this. Last one year she didn't like Gilded Age. I did. It was a spinoff. But well, uh, see, and we haven't even finished Outer finished. Banks ever. Because I never did. It for, got bored. It got for it. us yeah. when they get. Did. No, I don't think we did. When they get too long, mm -hmm. we get busy doing other stuff. Like different I mean, seasons. And then we for or what was that one that Steve turned us on that was really really good at first. Oh, with the uh, family that in were Florida. drugs yeah. and bloodline. bloodline. Yeah, we had we never finished that. We have one episode left of that. Yeah, like the whole you, series comes to an end, and we haven't even watched. Animal Kingdom was very that good. That was a very good one. Very very good. Was, was that, that chick's name in that? Smurf. Yeah, Smurf. But is it a long one? Ellen Because we get lost. It's six seasons, it about seasons? Two, but it is freaking awesome. I mean, they'll well, stop. But we find ourselves not having time, and we also forget. That the next season is started. Yeah. And we're like, okay, or that binge. one, Reacher. We hadn't picked back up on it. That one's really good. Yeah. I told Jeff about how big y'all's living room is right now. Part of yeah. the, part of the stuck problem. stuck in the TV. Y'all got two little boys in a busy life. Their we're once hunting room season's is, over. It's big right now. Me and Michelle watch TV every night. We started, like last night, it was 9.15. 9.30, yeah. 9.30, we can watch. Y'all don't, don't have to worry about, Mom, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, well, go to bed. Well, what happens to us, we start getting them to bed at 8.30. Well, by the time they're done trickling back in and... <laughs> I need this, or I'm hot, or I need another drink, or uh, do I need to use the bathroom? <laughs> it's nine thirty, and I'm like, forget it, never mind. It nine thirty. See, we don't we, we don't we don't deal with that, Michelle. We, the, I watched. I'm watching another series of my own until Michelle got done doing all her shit yesterday. But but we have more time. Yeah. But we don't watch That's no TV have. during hunting season. It's football or oh, bed. We're go tired. To bed. But this time of year, we start watching football. That's one thing about the COVID. We didn't even six, watch football the, at the home. Six weeks that COVID was shut down the world, we watched a lot of mm -hmm. TV then. We watched a lot of series. It's when Netflix made their money. Yeah, because I was a big. We watched more and more of it. But, but I noticed no the other day, I've either, got every so. streaming service in the world. We got Apple. And we got why? blah 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 blah. And you don't need I'll it. watch one. No. I'll watch one or two series on each one. What I like watching series. To go to? Uh, how would you decide everything, how would... everything that we watch is on peacock or youtube TV. well really we just got rid of our youtube tv because we can watch everything on peacock i watch tubi yeah. because and i watch i watch movies on tubi it's free and that's free and i and i, and and I watch pluto tubi. we have pluto you can find a we bunch of things it. on pluto there's a series on apple tv that jacob written told me need to watch called patriots Called, you know, he asked That's, me about that too. It's called Air Master, and it's about uh, World War II. It's the same thing, and we're going to watch it after Pacific. Yeah, it's well, in World War II in England, and it's a series the same way. And we're I want to watch it when we get done with this one. Start. But I really do like the Pacific. I can't stand Tom Hanks. I'm not into all the Hollywood elitism, but it is a very, very it's good very series well so made. far. I didn't so far. know Tom Hanks had done anything recently. Tom Hanks, he's a not piece of shit. He produced it. He produced yeah. it or the yeah. director. He's just a piece of crap. He's a child molester, I think. Allegedly, you don't allegedly. Know that for sure. Okay. Yeah. Jeff stands on his own on this. Yep. I think it he's out a, loud. I think no. he's a big time piece of crap. Well, I'm telling you what, something happened. I don't know him, but I know that they would not induct him into a lifetime achievement award because of some shit. I think they took it away. They took it away from him. You got to really be a real screw up to get that. Or the elite to take it away. Yeah. Him and someone else got um, dumped from that. I can't remember uh, who the other guy was. It's another famous was it actor. Female? Maybe it's Oprah. Uh, doubt it. You can't take it away from Oprah. They took Tom Oprah Hanks is and somebody Hollywood. else did. You think Oprah's a good person? How about you don't take her stuff away? Jesse, do you think Oprah's a good person? 
I don't know her. I don't honestly care about any of their lives, so I don't read that much. I mean, I don't care about what fame them. I don't fame. I don't care what they have. I don't care if she's got billions of dollars and stuff. But I think she's an evil lady. I think she's in the middle of all that stuff. I think it would scare us to death if we knew what was going on. Did you see where Denzel Washington came out with? uh, uh, Who's the guy that's uh, Mel Gibson or? It's Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson and Denzel Washington's coming out and talking about the evil of Hollywood. Oh. Denzel's I a great guy. I thought you were about to say something bad about Denzel. No, 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 no. He him. seems like a great guy. He Mel does. Gibson has been saying it forever, and that's why he was blackballed. Denzel's born blackballed. Shut up. <laughs> God almighty. <laughs> this says that there are no Lifetime Achievement Awards at the Oscars. So that's all a make up, made up story. So there's, Tom Hanks didn't. There's not even. He got it a, taken away because it doesn't exist. Someone's got a lifetime achievement, though. It does. And he he did yeah. not. And that's why I can't pay attention to any of it. Because okay. I feel like so much of it's made up. Did Al Roker die today? To did Al Roker die? I doubt it's it. It's all look, over my. I'll look on Twitter real quick. That's that's I the somehow, best news source in the whole world. I somehow followed something fake on Facebook. And so I always get things like that. This was, and I don't even know if, I don't fake. keep up with all that, but it was like on my stories. No, he did not die. And it said died today. He's yeah. not dead. Is it from deer? It's a thing called deer? I don't know. Somehow don't know. I've got that and it's always fake. Wait until AI gets Ooh. real bad. I just got a notification from Crumble. Uh, Guess what kind of cookie they have this week? Lemon cheesecake. Trace Le Chase. I saw that, oh, wow, too, because I almost went by and picked mm-hmm. some up. That's not my favorite cake. The uh, lemon. Anything lemon. Really yes, good. I have. My Trace Le Chase? Yes, you made it for something one time. I'm, I'm just, I'm just not, a big, I'm not a big Trace Le Chase guy. Oh, oh, they do have lemon cheesecake. Yeah. When peanut AI butter. gets... And they have classic peanut butter. <laughs> that's your favorite. Yes, it is. Because they don't have a topping uh, on among it. that. It's straight that's oatmeal that's cream or that's oatmeal. And iced oatmeal. oatmeal that yeah. one is, has been one of my favorites oatmeal that they've ever done. Well, since we're giving, All right, we're going Since tomorrow. we're giving a plug to, to Crumble, Crumble Cookie. Mm-hmm. Crumble Cookie ruins cookies by putting all that fucking shit on no, top of them. They're I sugar love. cookies. And, and oh, I love we, sugar We go in there one time, and I ask the, the lady. I go... Can I just get sugar cookies without the frosting? Let me ask my back boss. They're making them, and I'm watching like, them ice the deals up. Wouldn't? And she come back and she said, "Oh yes, sir, we can, but we got to charge you the extra. same." No, no, I said that's fine. I just want six. Give me six sugar cookies, okay? Without the frosting. So I have to wait in line behind all these other yay habs, and we're sitting there waiting around, waiting around. They call my name up there. You know, they open them up to show you when they yeah. give them to you. And the icing. Everyone's got it. fucking icing on them. I'm like motherfucker, some bitches. I just we're not I'm waiting. Well, because off. most of the, if you watched them make them. I yeah, mean, we were watching them, and so it was like, you've got the sugar cookie, just don't put frosting on it. Well, the sugar cookie one, the the one that they rotate every other week, that it's usually in a chiller, already made. Yes, that's yeah. one of the cookies. Yes, I didn't I want the frosting. No, I mean with the frosting. No, 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 no. we watched were, them. Because, like, you know, there's the ones, the sugar cookies that, like, the, they pipe it on. Yes, yeah, that's, that's the what one. they were yes. saying. But like I'm they're talking doing. about their normal oh, sugar like cookies no, that no. they do every week. That has the Almost smooth like glaze. top uh-huh. frosting. Yeah, um, that's already made. Like every time I've ever ordered them, they're in a chiller and they just pull it out of. the No, chiller. this here they then they put the piping on them. I'm like, oh. I, I don't want that. She says, let me ask. I thought, shit, how are, saving you some money? You're saving some frosting. Yeah, charge, charge me. me the same. I don't care. I just don't like the frosting. They, I always wipe it off anyways. Mm. They got the, they got, their cookies are good because their cookies taste kind of raw in the middle type. Yeah, they they're doughy. And they're doughy and yeah. they're a very good cookie and about a half a cookie is enough for you as a person. That's why oh, they sell we, those little separate, yeah. those um, dividers. We're, well, we're going tomorrow because uh, five of I've their, never had the iced oatmeal ones, but I bet them are good. Sick, they are so good. You warm them up. Oh, they're so good. I'm a glutton for that. And no, I'm not going to make quarter. oatmeal for mm. switch them up. At one time, Jeff was like, why don't you try do an oatmeal during hitting season. I said no. No, I think you're committed to. My baker John chip. May used to make the best oatmeal cookies. He had coconut in them, which kept them oh. moist. They were good. Jesse's out. Yeah, I'm out. She oh, they were coconut. very, very good. How do you not? I'm we're out. going to Mexico. How can you not want coconut? I'll drink a coconut drink, but I don't like the texture. The or food the coconut. Are we no, going snorkeling like again? We haven't booked anything, but we, we can. That, I that st- one that she sent. Didn't you send it to him too? Mm-hmm. I want to do that one. That one looked really pretty. pretty. You know, Nolan was telling me he stayed at the same resort we've been at a couple of times. I think you can snorkel at that resort. You like can. There's right dock right. you can go off of. See, last year in Cozumel, we were supposed to, but it was so damn windy mm-hmm. and crappy. 
He said that you can go off one. He said one of the docks that you go off of has got a ton of sharks on it. I thought, oh, good. screw that shark. Sure. There's also <laughs> an area at ours that's called the King's Pool, mm-hmm. and it's like a a natural, like almost like I don't even. It kind of looks like a natural hot tub Ooh. at our resort with like. All the rocks and it's so pretty. Do they have like a catamaran or something that goes out there for us non snorkelers I mean, to watch? I'm well, sure. like last year well, when that, we did it, you didn't snorkel, you just stayed on the boat while we all I'm swim. I'm sure that one you sent is like that, oh, that you I, can do that or just like get out. We're, we're going to Mexico in a couple of weeks and we're going to stay. No, at, next week. I, I don't want everybody to know our business. Oh. Okay. Just a couple cut, weeks. Cut that out. Anyways, where we're go, where we're, we're, we're going to Mexico, put it we out are there the we are the last the very last resort at this island. So I'm assuming once we get to where we are, there's not a lot of traffic. I did not realize how busy Isla Mujeres is because I saw a video yesterday. Some people had taken, they were just on vacation this last couple weeks. It's a busy place. Really? It's a very, very busy well, I mean, place. They say people, once you go, you're never going to want to yeah. go anywhere else. And it's I think a, a lot of people from like Cozumel go over like we did yeah. with Blake. Yeah. And well, and I know they say even at our resort, you can buy a day pass over there. Uh-huh. But they <coughs> act like it's kind of expensive, so... Blake said he was watching today and uh, or no yesterday there was a stingray whenever they were doing whatever and somebody working at the resort was just kind of playing with it and he was like don't mean to tell your business but Steve Irwin was a professional <laughs> and it got him how big was it uh, he said it was pretty big there's a lot of places that do like that's a tour like they feed stingrays and you swim with the stingrays oh. They've Killed got Steve one. Of, they've got Not one of those odds. at the Bahamas. Would you sting? Kills. Would you swim with the bo- the dolphins? Andy? That was a freak. Uh, Reese is going. Dolphins to. don't. Dolphins don't really scare me. Stingrays do, just because like Steve Irwin was the best of the best. Yeah. And it got and if him. It got, him. He got a barb in his heart. But that he should have never taken it out. They said that's what killed him. Really? How yep. was and he, he was gonna think. walk around with a stingray in his? Chest well, the rest keep of it in until the hospital. Until you got somewhere, because whenever just he pulled it out of his heart, it was just. In a couple of seconds, he bled out. That would just be instinct. Mm. It is. is. Yeah, 100%. Didn't his daughter, do, doesn't she do kind of what he did? His she son does. Uh, his son yeah, does. I think I've, both of them do. We've watched something on his son before. You're talking like right into here. Sorry. Well, I'm very uncomfortable in this chair. It's, well, it is Blake terrible. Blake broke them all. Blame break. Do you want to switch? Do you want the kid chair? I mean, it's, sliding back. We can get that. Probably would have been better. <laughs> Elementary. Because yeah. if, these if I sit back, I'm. Are you recording right now, Andy? If I'm sitting oh. back, I'm way there. These there. roll. There this go. feels better on my back. Well, you're a lot of work. My back hurts. I've been flooring my whole You've house. You've done a lot of work. After that money that guy, Dre Rabe's telling us how much money them people make, you think about getting in that business. Oh, and oh, by the way, I thought Ray you were about to say we'd pay somebody. No, we uh, saved a lot of money doing it ourselves. Uh, he doesn't do carpet, the Italian wool. He only, like, does whatever carpet he has and will serge, so... We're not doing business with Ray Ray. We're too good for that now? I don't want that kind of carpet or that kind of rug. Okay. Of oh. course not. I was I looking at ruggables. Want. We're just going to do... I looked the, at that. They're thin. You probably wouldn't like uh, them. No, I they wouldn't fit her unless, standards. No, Unless the you got something thick. I want it just because we have to chunk ours every right. year because of Lou anyways. So ours that is hanging you on can, 10 years. You can uh, wad Honestly. it up and walk yeah. it. When was the community center built? Yeah, it's probably about right when we bought it. Every decade, you got to change it out. Well, we're about to start. It just goes by too quick. What does? Oh, 10 years? Just wait. <laughs> just you like wait. I was thinking about how quickly hunting season went by, and we're almost into March. Mm-hmm. We're going to turn around. Mm-hmm. It's going to be August. Mm-hmm. It was just last well, fall, I was coaching the little wrecking crew football team. I mean, it goes by fast, fast, fast. Well, I was about to say, now y'all are chasing all the sports of the grandkids. Thank but, God. I mean, you the were same all, people. Well, that, that's why I'm saying it goes so fast yeah. because oh, yeah. you've got and all that And what's funny too. is I think you were fixing to go there. The same people are in the stands, a lot of yeah. them, that were in the stands when y'all were. Like yeah. the Carter. I was yeah. talking to Tracy Abby Carter was, the other yeah. night, holding He's all holding his grandkids. grandkids. Asking him who we've got. And we were talking about, you know, it wasn't long ago that Andy was throwing the ball to Jordan in high school. coaching and principal. Well, there's kids, kids. I mean, it just makes sense. Yeah. Can we pause for a potty break? Sure. Okay. We'll be right back. Do you want to switch chairs while you're doing potty? No. I'll, we won't. She'll I'll suck, suck it up. up. You know, they had to ask what your name is. And I told her, and she sat there. For quite a while, and then finally she was like, "Spell that, please." Michelle. <laughs> well, no shit. And I wonder because they put your name, they type it out. Yeah. I, would have said, I wonder. Just spell it out. I wonder if she's been made fun of or something for her mm-hmm. spelling. I'd have given her some really fucked up system. Is there a different way to spell Michelle? T W A T. 
Are you twat? Hey. Yes, I am. Thank you. And I do. I wonder if maybe she's <clears throat> messed some up so badly. She. I don't know. You could mess up Michelle. Michelle M. Who knows? She not the only, or I'm not the only one. You look like an idiot in these things. Sometimes, Jeff. Well, who are you trying but, to impress? You're on a podcast. My husband. Do well, Do you right think that Do you think that they'll always teach handwriting? Because that seems silly to me. I would agree with you. It doesn't make it doesn't fit the times no more. Not the times. Cursive. Like cursive seems oh. ridiculous to me. Okay, I was like, you think well, writing is ridiculous? Not writing, but like cursive. Keyboard makes sense. Be careful with that because people are not going to want to hear you smacking on that. Yes. Keyboard Jeff makes gets sense. In trouble. That's why I keep. Keyboard makes sense. Handwriting Typing. doesn't make sense anymore. I mean, obviously learn your letters, but I don't know. Of anybody in this room, I have no reason to get on to anybody about grammar because my grammar is terrible. And I understand that because my the easy path I took growing up in education. Miss hmm? Wilson, she ruined me. Because I didn't know. I didn't. Elementary. I, I understand That's that. But what I'm saying is, is there's some things that they need to teach grammar to people. But everybody's got spell check now. That can That's also why the lady work. can't speak spell Michelle. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't imagine what she was about to come up with. But you should have asked her, how would you it. spell it? Wing it. How do you think it's spelled? I should have said M U S H E L L. Shell. There was somebody that. No, it was Moon Cell. I was about to say somebody that had a weird name like that. But I mean, what's it matter? I'm the white vehicle picking right. up these sandwiches. Just give it to me. They want to make sure they get you the right order, the right it's person. It's a white SUV. I was at Chick Fil A the other day, and the lady in front of me, they said, you know, they want you to pull around when your order's not completely right. And so she's like, Ready. "Can Go you, uh, can you, can you pull around?" I said, "Yeah, if you can make that car move a little bit." Mm. She's like, "Well, yeah, just go around them." Ma'am, I can't. I cannot. There is not enough room. I'll be in the hedges if I do that. Well, just just mm -hmm. going around. Just I was go like, in the hedges. And I asked we the guy at the window. I said, an "Does anybody What's have any matter? fucking common sense these days?" I said, "Would well, you want me to drive through the people sure. or go around?" It's a drive through. You want me to just drive right through? <laughs> and then he's well, like, they're inside. They probably can't see the whole. No, synopsis. they're outside. It's the outside uh, people. The girl walked in front uh, of the car and goes, "Can you go this way?" No, I can't unless they move. You up. tell me. I said, can I? If you'll tell that lady to scoot up five feet, I can be. I'd be more than happy to do that. So she just kept looking at me. Well, finally, they brought the ladies out, and she drove up. She goes, well, can you at least drive up here? Yeah. And I said, look at this. See, I pulled up far enough now. When you tell the next person to go around, they go around here. I go, it's a little common sense. That's all I'm asking, ma'am. I told Jeff I saw a meme. It's a pleasure, sir. <laughs> My and, pleasure. Uh, McDon it was like a McDonald's ad, and it said, uh, it said, we're open on Sunday. Then under it was a Chick-fil-A, and it said, our ice cream machine works every day uh, other than Sunday. Does Chick-fil-A's not work? No, McDonald's. Oh. Oh, so McDonald's I get what or Chick Fil A was like, well, our ice right. cream machine works. McDonald's will have zero employees in two or three years, and Chick Fil A will still have a handful of of high school kids. They that say, God work. bless you. Have, have you a good day. Yes. have you noticed that everybody else is doing that? A blessed they'll, day. They'll say you'll go uh, eat at other places, and they say, my pleasure. What other places do you go? I don't remember where else, but I've noticed there's been other places that when you say thank you, they say my pleasure. I'll give you the breakdown of fast food restaurants. What? If you go to Chick Fil A, you're going to get good customer service, and you're going to get polite young people. Mm -hmm. Is the com? There's not a lot of old you people don't there. Be able to spell. There's nobody shady either. No, they're very they're, polite. They're yeah. very nice. You trust them. Good looking you, people. You go to McDonald's, and you're going to deal with either old old people with good customer service that they're slow as shit, but they're really good, and they don't screw up your order, or you're going to get some dumbass that don't care, and your order's going to be jacked up. If you go to Popeyes, you're going to get a lot of fucking attitude. I didn't yesterday. I guess I haven't been to Popeye's in well, a long if, time. If you do, you're going to get a bunch of attitude. Like, I it's 30 to minutes to get that chicken done. Long John Silver's, you're going to get a bunch of That's attitude. That's the worst. That's yeah. the worst. And yeah. the one in Wichita Falls is yes. absolutely the worst. Nobody ever answers you. You go yeah. through the drive thru. One time I sat at the the drive thru buzzer thing oh, forever. Again. Nobody would answer me. So I drove to the window and the lady, uh, ma'am, you were supposed to order at the sign back there. Well, I sat there forever and nobody ever said anything. So I figured it was out of order because most of the time they're out of order. Me, last time I went to LJ's was in Wichita. And everybody's going to make fun of us because people up north do not like Long John Silver's. I like yeah, Long John Silver's. I do too. And we went there and me, Tony, and Harry were going to order. And I was going to bring Michelle back. And we always get the fish and more. Three pieces of chicken and two pieces of fish or whatever it is. Ordered three of them and got to the window. I think I mean, Harry didn't get chicken. I mean, $97 or whatever. I mean, it's yeah, really it's expensive there. 
And so I was like, okay. And I was giving him my card. I go, how long is it going to be? And he asked the lady behind him. She goes, fuck, I don't know. She goes, we're busy right now. She goes, it might be 30, 45 minutes. I said, give me back my credit card. And I took my credit card back. I said, screw this. But that's what she said. Fuck, I don't know. You're spitting in our food. I don't so we, we have it. somebody that's running our, or I don't know, she's running the dollar store. But um, she's working at the dollar store. And I was in there shopping the other day. And that's, she was cussing the dollar store and i mean just you should have heard how she was talking just freely with customers walking around and i was like about oh, dollar store okay she needs to get a job here about her job be a good hand. and cussing hey, we're looking. And all the time we're looking yeah don't bother me a little well, foul no. language don't bother me now but you don't do that ring i mean like no. at a hunting lodge you can do a little bit of that yeah. but out there but yeah. long john silver she yeah. didn't know if i was a pastor whatever it was uh, anymore was owner? anymore at the dollar store no you can't find anybody to check you out they don't yeah, yeah. now that they have themselves. now that they have this scan thing like mm -hmm. they really won't show up to scan you out and they probably kind of get mad at you when you expect them to i don't i i hate self-checkout unless it's dollar general because at dollar general i ain't got to stand beside behind yeah, some waterhead that's get to up hurry shit. up and do it I'm telling you that yep. waterhead's usually me oh uh, it wears me I, I just took the grandkids the other day and we went in there and bought stuff and we were in and out of there. And I told him, I said, listen, your mom's put y'all on a timer. Y'all got three minutes. So it's like a NASCAR pit stop. I don't care what you get, but you've got three minutes. I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to get a bone for Ollie and whatever the hell I went in milk. there for milk. I said, I'm going to get milk and a deal. Cooking. When I take my fat butt and I'm back up here, self checkout <laughs> and I say, kids, let's go. <laughs> I want three grandkids right here to check out. So did they? Just your grandkids All but or one. anyone? Reese. Jameson. Dylan. Bingo. Jameson. Oh. Yes. Because he doesn't know what three minutes is. <laughs> he was like, I just don't know what I want. I said, get both of them. I don't care. Let's go. So Let's he got go. the bow and yeah, arrow. He doesn't know what three minutes but is. But we bought the 10th bow and arrow that we've had in the last year from there. And it didn't work. Yeah. Imagine that. But We bought something. Oh, one of those. Uh, is it called a kazoo? The mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, and it didn't do anything. He didn't have the top in it. Yeah, did it? it didn't like do part anything. Of the major part was Why gone. Was a kid by kazoo. Yeah. So um, I think Jameson had gotten it, and so we just told him that it was a dog one, and only the dogs could hear it. <laughs> you know, you know, it's go by it. It's it's crazy to think of if we put ourselves at these kids' He's thinking, spots. Loose death. Yeah. Well, He's me, not responding. When me and Michelle were kids, our our toys were so. <laughs> antique i mean they were just there was nothing to them you did them all they yourself were more like a kazoo. Yeah. i mean other than an electric train or an electric car set we had stuff that you manually had to do shit if you had the rocket that had the water you had to pump that some bitch up to shoot it up legos if you, legos you got to put them together kids jack. today have got a computer and a tv and these what games the that are toys? amazing what was that yeah and oh, jack like, we've got tinker toys and the kids have never and the little, wanted to play with the little them. thing you no hit, no no not Tinker Toys. Oh, we the have lag? the we have the log ones. Lincoln, Ma logs. Uh, Lincoln logs. logs. Pain yeah. and, and they them. have never cared about it. Uh, I and I brought them those. out for the grandkids yeah. to play with because yeah, they don't and care. Would play for days. Yep. With that. They just Reese has never been a kid that will play with his imagination. Jameson will sometimes. Reese, nope. He never you know plays and well the, look look what they have. That's what I'm getting at. Like we'd have a paddle that had a fucking ball with ball. a rubber band yeah. on it, and you'd hit I, that son of a bitch. And then yeah. it became the boys had one of those. The kid's got a PS5. You really think he wants to hit a fucking rubber ball and a rubber band yeah. on a paddle? I no. Mean, and why did we keep asking for those? Because we usually ended up getting our ass beat with them mm -hmm. later down the because road. Because we didn't they have were, nothing else. But who wants? I mean, you're gonna get your ass beat with it. You ever had your ass beat with an extension cord? <laughs> No, I, I got one of them one time. Oh, oh no, that hurt. My, my mom had a paddle. <laughs> she had a wood, hard wood paddle. Yeah, Mine she had used on a, a razor strap. That's like wood. Would, that's about oh, like an extension or a belt. Cord. Ooh, mm -hmm. I remember the last that's ass beat I got. Yeah, the last one I got well, was with a guitar strap when I was in the eighth grade. I broke my grandpa's window one time after he told me not to throw a baseball three or four times out there, and I threw right through the plate glass window. My grandfather, little Italian man who I was the same size of when I was in sixth grade, probably, Sam. He beat my ass with a willow, uh, with a switch off a willow tree. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Dad he probably, that to me it probably only hit me two or three times. But it stuck in your forever. mind. That son of a bitch might as well beat me with a damn axe. Yeah. <laughs> it, it hurt my soul. My grandpa spanked me because he was my cool grandpa. 
I remember one time we, we went to Rodriguez Inn and I got in trouble for something and mom was going to spank me and I told her she couldn't catch me. And so <laughs> I, I ran and ran and ran around the <laughs> around Rodriguez Inn. Oh, oh you did it in, t- in the store? <laughs> Outside. Well, next time Outside I'm little, the building. I'm little grandkids act like little bastards, we'll know why it's coming from Jesse's gene pool because Andy never so, did mine. Uh, one of the spankings we got, Missy, um, she said, put on every pair of panties you have because mm-hmm. it won't hurt. Mm-hmm. We were nylon panties then. Yeah. So I did it. That sucker hurt so bad. I mean, it was awful. So did, Andy, did you ever get a spanking? Uh, I don't know. None that really stick out to me. Probably just like his ass beat. His he ran by our our kids don't really get spankings. Which one's got more spankings? <sighs> Jameson? Probably, probably Reese. Reese? Reese likes yeah. to argue Why? a little more. Or he, discuss. Yes. He discusses. Yeah, he's and a, he's a debater. we trying to figure out how to get that gone because mm-hmm. Andy and I are at our you're limit not, with them. You're not ever going to get uh, rid of it. We well, still we, argue with you pain. You have to because well, good you're going to have pain and arguing it. The, 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 what gets me about Reese is it's, he's too stubborn to realize even when he's wrong, but he's going to argue and debate with what, you all the time because it's in his blood. He ain't going to quit that. What I have a problem with is I have some people and my kids in my life that don't feel like they have a voice. And so... I don't want Reese feeling like he doesn't have a voice. Oh, he's got one. But so when sometimes he won't, he, you know, arguing, whatever you want to call it, he's trying to make his points as to why that's, you know, whatever. But I'm like, no, I'm your parent. This is it. And that's the end of it. But I, I don't want to shut him out and feel, him, make him feel like he doesn't have a voice. And but. you never thought you'd be the one to say, because I said so. Yeah. Just oh, shut no. up. It's all right. the time. People in hell when I water too. Yeah. That's what I used to hear when I was a kid. I hated that saying. Or I'm going to beat you till you cry. But I noticed beat Andy and I, we're cry. getting so short with Reese because it's the same thing all the time. And we're over and it. Y'all are tired and right now. We're, well, and we're tired of him doing that. Mm-hmm. Arguing every single time. More tired of him. Yeah. <laughs> so we're... No, we're getting to the point where our patience is a little thin when it comes to that. Do you ever see this lady on TikTok? I really, really like her. And so this is what I said to one mother. She's very, very calm about everything. I said, just leave the supermarket. She said, but my trolley's half full. I said, you haven't paid for it. Now, our kids have never thrown a fit in a supermarket. but They know better. the child and say, we're going. Rodriguez is. The child throws himself on the ground. And so you give the child the opportunity to get up, but they don't. So you just drag them. <laughs> And but people will be she's, looking at you she's cruel, but she like smiles smile at everything. He likes being dragged. Or kind of cr- <laughs> favorite way to move I actually along. take that She's back. Smiling. I do remember You're one time. Then, I'll let her finish. You know, the- well, I don't know how long the video is, but no. like she was talking about one time, um, if your kid says they don't want to eat outside, that's it. That you've said all you need to say. Just go outside. Or if they're being fussy at the dinner table. And like she saw, and I was trying to find that video because that's the one that's really funny because she's just like real calm about it. She's like, okay, well, you can just go outside. And then she said, give them a couple minutes, go outside to them and say, are you ready to rejoin the family? Are you going to be calm? Are you going to be, are you going to be polite? And if they say no, just leave them. She said, and if they ever say they don't want the food, take their plate, put it away. You'll try again the next meal. Try tomorrow. And she said, never tell them, because she said, they're going to complain that they're hungry. They're going to do all these other things. She said, just don't tell them, well, your belly would be full if you ate the if you ate the meal. They already know that. Just say, well, we'll eat again in a couple hours. And then um, they'll, she said, like, they'll, they'll figure it out. Well, I've always kids done are that smart with our kids. If they won't eat their food, I save it and say, you can have this later when you're ready to eat. But she says, don't even give them that option. It's just Next you missed, missed it. You missed what your chance. Opportunity. Like now you missed not, your chance. You breakfast. The Oprah question here: Does she have fucking kids? Because yeah, Oprah's always telling everybody how to raise like kids. She does. Yeah, well, she, she kids. seems like but she, a o- woman who would. Oprah's always like giving kids. women advice on marriage and she kids, and she that. ain't fucking got either mm-hmm. one of them. So I just, just. But she's got a lot of hacks on, like <clears throat> um, health hacks. N- yeah, has. health hacks and all. I really, really. I'm Michelle, you should really listen to this like... lady some because what what dad used to say about you all the time, Michelle? And the, Your dad or yes, mine? My I was dad. like a short order a cook. A short order cook. She'd get make the kids shit to eat. The one that floored me the most, two o'clock in the morning in the summertime. We have a four-year-old named Payne. He comes in the door, our bedroom. Mom, 
dad, mom, dad, mom. What are y'all doing? Fuck to sleep. It's two o'clock in the morning. We were sleeping. <laughs> Went from four did to you two. Just, okay. I was about to say, <laughs> did you say he was four years old? Four. And four. why was he up by himself at 2 a.m.? He woke up. He woke up. Oh. He comes in the room and he goes, I'm hungry. It's four. It's two o'clock in the morning. We'll eat. In the mom, I just want a frozen I pizza think so he bad. Was four. What do you think Michelle did? Tell me, what do you think I she did, Jesse? That's ridiculous. Yes, I it made, is. Yes, I it is. I made Reese a quesadilla at midnight the other yes. night. When they spent the night, <laughs> but the other he was night. probably still yes, up. Yes, they were still. So up. that's a difference. No, yes, if my kid were woke up at up. two in the morning, go back to bed. If Reese is up at midnight at your house, you gonna make him a quesadilla? Probably. No. If he, if it's a grandkid. No, you though. Mm -mm. No, she did. Well, he was hungry. The others had popcorn, I think. I think that kid's always said he doesn't like quesadillas. He, he ate a cheese. He wanted one at midnight. He down every one. bit of it. Yeah. I mean, he made it last because I was like, all right, when Reese is finished, we're going to sleep. Yeah. It took a while to eat. Have you I seen the guy on, uh, I don't know if he's on TikTok, T. Amp Lewis it's from Tampa cheese. Bay? Uh-uh. He's really good. See if you can I find him up. It. He's cheese. a single dad that uh, he does some baking at home and makes the, he told me to be on the podcast. I asked him the other day, but he's on, he's on Instagram, but he's just a single dad raising his boy by himself. And he's got such a good story. He makes his kid be responsible and mm -hmm. he, he makes him clean up. He's got a lot of discipline. He grew up very poor. His dad went to prison. I mean, he talks about all of us growing up, but I really like him. But his he's name's on what? On IG and it's, his name's T. Amp Lewis. And he goes, this amp, y'all know who this is. This is Amp from Tampa. Hmm. He's black. I very, very, I really enjoy him. like the squirrel guy too. And that so. there's a black guy in LA that raises he's, he's got squirrels Hood Rat Raymond's one of his squirrels <laughs> he wrote a kids book on about being diverse uh, on being inclusive to people and stuff but he lives in an apartment complex in LA and he's got two or three squirrels he feeds nut, and they oh come gosh. up to him and and, and I enjoy him. Some of the, it's really weird some of the things I really follow on Instagram and social media are things completely out of the box yeah like Michelle follows these these two this black white lady and this uh, white lady what's her name uh, Shelly and Oh. What's the name? The juice Mama. cup or? Oh uh, yeah, juice box. The juice box. And it's two ladies, and there's and there's the black lady son films them all the time, and Michelle knows everything about their life now. Oh, it's hilarious. She's been following them for years, and, and now you do too. And, and, and now I follow so them too. Hilarious. But, but they grew up together. They're in Mississippi, I think. The girl, the, the white lady's hilarious. son is a baseball coach at Mississippi, Mississippi State, State, I believe. I'm thinking sometimes he got to be embarrassed about his mom. But right? no, and she puts it all out there. She's been to prison and stuff for drugs, mm. and she puts every bit of it out there. They how went, her parents tried. And they went and ate somewhere the other day for dinner, and lady goes, the black lady goes, didn't you used to work? Shelly's her name, right? <laughs> Shelly's the white lady. Yeah, she, they's like Shelly, didn't you work here for? A while? Yeah, they had to let me go. Oh, well, like an hour. I, I worked here, but I, I was drinking on the job. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a Pinocchio's pizza or something. It wasn't anything popping over anything. Did y'all ever watch Oppenheimer? No, I have not seen it yet. I started to watch it the other day, but it's three hours. I didn't have three hours to kill. It is. Is it? Is it a series or a movie? It's a movie. You've, You've taught me out of Napoleon. And plus, I didn't talk me, you out of Napoleon. Everybody's told me Napoleon. Napoleon's not very good. I thought you watched Oppenheimer on an airplane. I did. did. Okay. But I've so seen you it. were just watching it again the other night. Yeah. Oof. I want to watch it. I haven't I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to watch. I watched Airport 1970 last night, and I really, really enjoyed it with Burt Lancaster. That's Dean a Martin, movie? Yeah, it's an old. It's a movie from the 70s. Your Your dad probably would like it. And I'm gonna watch. There's another. There's like three or four airport movies. I'm gonna start watching them. I love the movies from the 70s. Did I just watch, really, really do. Uh, I watched Bullet with, with Steve McQueen the other day. The monkey or the gorilla orangutan. Weren't you watching uh, that? Oh, I watched Clint Eastwood's Any Which Way You yeah. Can or Every Grand Which Way But Loose. Jeff, we can't. No. They would like the monkey. Yeah, but not some parts. I've watched Oppen. So I watched Oppenheimer one time when y'all were out of town, Jesse. And then I've, I've it's on Peacock now. So I've watched bits and pieces. I haven't sat down for three hours and watched it again. It's a good movie. I know Clay Reed said he walked out of it. He went to the movie theater, walked out. It's a it's a good show. Oppenheimer was a very very complex individual, and he did not know he did not he did not know how to feel about what he was doing, what he created. If he wouldn't have created thought, it, someone else would have. Well, yeah, the Germans had a two year head start. He thought that it would be would it would be a one time deal. So far, it has been. It's been a two time deal. Well. It was all used in the same, to do the same thing. But he just he wasn't. He knew he knew the the destruction of what he was getting ready to create. It was in forty six, right? I think so yeah, it was in the forties. So we're seventy five years in, and no one else has used the bomb. So right. the, the it the saved a lot of lives. I think it saved yes, a lot of lives. The threat of having it has been a, an, an amazing thing. Um, 
Do you think that the Russians have one in space that they're trying? Our government is up to something right now. They've got some kind of pandemic pa- planned. I don't know what it is. I think they have and several I don't know if it's, it's not just our government. It's the new world government of what it is. But do you think the threat? Of, they, they always want to make Russia the bad guy in this deal. Yeah. I don't think that Russia has the technology to take a weapon and send it from outer space back because of there's so many there's so many things factors involved with that. So why do you think they're not smart enough? No, I just don't think we have the technology you don't think to Russia have does. weapons. I don't know that the United States weapons does either. Weapons in space? Yes, that, that can attack you just into said Russia. That, that can attack into the actual past the firmament or whatever the hell it is into our country. There's a firmament. Because when when the space shuttle would go into space and it would come back, the, a couple of them, the tiles got so hot, and that's why right. a couple of them blew up. So I don't know if we've got the capability to take missiles in from outer space and right. put them down here. I don't know. I just I don't know if that's available. Um, do you think we have the laser technology to do lasers from outer space? I don't think we have the heat source. The the okay. can generate enough power. They're not asking. It's got to go a long way if it's up in space. A long way. But so there was an interesting part in Oppenheimer. They did not know what was going to happen when they detonated the first one. Oof. Because they, the theory was that. It would start a chain reaction and burn through the atmosphere. Did they do the first one in White Sands or Los Alamos? Los Alamos is where it all. The first one was it, it underground. They did the first one underground, no. right? Mm-hmm. Dropped it on. So they had it on. They had it on a hoist and dropped it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But how far did they drop it? I don't know. I don't know how how high it was, but um, they're getting ready to do everything, and one of the scientists is like, "What?" Because they're all making bets on whether it's going to go bang or not, which it's like two billion dollars worth of plutonium. And he's like, if it doesn't How go, much? two billion in 1946, it I was think two billion. So. Yeah, no way. <clears throat> yeah, um, I think it, anyway. It's like if it doesn't go, like we're gonna have plutonium all over white sand. Oh crap! So, and then another scientist is like, what are the odds that it ignites the atmosphere? And one of the generals that was in charge of it, him and Oppenheimer, are sitting by themselves right before ignition. He's like, what did so and so mean about what are the odds on atmospheric ignition? He's like, well, there's a theory. That when we when this thing explodes, it's going to ignite the entire atmosphere and it's going to go on forever. And he's like, "Well, what are the odds of that?" Mm, Oppenheimer's like, "Well, <laughs> but to find n- out near zero." He's like, "Near zero." He's like, well, "What do you want from theory alone? Like we're, we got it, you know? We got theory's we only going to okay, theory's but... only going to take you so far." And he's like, "Well, zero would be nice." He's like. <laughs> Well, can't tell you. I'll tell you in an hour and a half. Three, two, one. Mm. How big was the first one they dropped? I'm not sure. I wonder what it was compared to like Little John or Big Boy. I could find out. Because Little John was the first one they dropped, right? Or was it Big Boy? I didn't know they named them. Yeah, one of them was called Little John and one was called Big Boy. One of them was dropped by the Nola Gay. Nuclear bomb. And my great-grandfather was the pilot on the Nola Gay. Did you know that? Uh-uh. I didn't either. It's just a good story. It's not true. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> not? <laughs> no. No, that would have been a hell of a story. Oh. It was a 100-foot no, tower. Right. Code name was Trinity, called Gadget, detonated at precisely 530 over the New Mexico desert, releasing 18.6 kilotons of power. I don't know how. Write that down. Look up and see what the other ones at Hiroshima and Nagasaki were. I think Little Boy was in the... the it was Big Bo- Little Boy... I can't remember their names. I just said them a mango. I had a college professor that pronounced that Hiroshima. She drove me nuts. Of course, I hated her. Hiroshima? Life. Hiroshima. Little boy was dropped over Hiroshima. Okay. How big was it? 15 tons. So it was smaller than the one they practiced with. It exploded with an energy of approximately 15 kilotons of TNT. Because they figured out you didn't need that much. Don't need all that. Let's save some. But it was crazy because, like, everybody, I've always heard like Oppenheimer's the one that invented it, but like, he was just the guy at Los Alamos. Coordinator. He had like 20 different scientists that were in charge of, because basically a nuclear bomb is not one thing, it's a hundred things that all come together to create this big explosion. So he had some people working on this, he had some people working on the theoretical side, the physical side, the catalyst, what's going to spark it. And so he was just kind of the, the overall the figurehead. What what I and, and the rush. So fast forward, they had obviously they had spies there because one of the scientists he said it needed to be a hydrogen bomb. And then fast forward to the Cold War, that was all about Russia having a hydrogen bomb. So they went back to Oppenheimer and they're like, 
what happened at Los Alamos? Like, how does Russia have a hydrogen bomb? So it all went back to this one scientist. That was playing both sides. What, uh, so... I know the, the government, they ca- they did they want everybody to know what was going on or was everybody, because I know the government's really, that's why they do a lot of their top secret shit is you work on one project. Right. They didn't want another, one they person didn't want knowing all, everything. No, not at all. Right. So I, I wonder if that's why they did that. Could be. Did you know that um, there's a, there's another series out that's on Apple or Peacock right now. One of those deals I saw it last night called Albert Einstein and the bomb. Yeah. It's on Peacock. I want to see that. I do too. Cause I want to see wouldn't his- work. He wouldn't work on it. He didn't want to kill all the people. He he just he wouldn't work on it. Oppenheimer asked him to kind of run the mathematics, and Einstein's like, "I'm not good at math. You, you know, you can figure this out." But so he just didn't want no part of it <clears> at all. It wouldn't work on it. And then one of the guys we paid a lot of money to get him to come over to the U.S. and I can't remember the, exactly which one of the guys. Well, was. they tried to get Heisenberg, but Hitler already had him. One of the guys we offered he 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 asked for stowage for his family to come over here. And safety and two million dollars or something. And they government. Didn't you have? Help me here. Someone on. Oh man, someone on here who's dad. No, your your youngest son. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was yeah. in uh, training training with a kid and 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 the guy. Probably not else, supposed to say this. His uh, dad was a Russian and he came over here. And it was the stealth. It was the stealth. You can probably look this up. It was a Russian guy who invented the stealth, the actual technology on stealth, but the Russian government couldn't afford to do it. And so he sold his, it was kind of a screwed up deal, but he came over here and they put him in witness protection type, basically type thing for a long time. But somebody that pains in schools with dad? No, went to, yes. Somebody that pain knows. Right. You've already already screwed this whole thing up. But anyway, he knows a gentleman whose father. That's this why is after here. they dropped it. Few people laughed. Few people cried. Most people were silent. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. Vishnu is trying to persuade the prince that he should do his duty and to impress him takes on his multi-armed form and says now i am become death the destroyer of worlds so i suppose we all thought that one way or another he the guy the world. he saved more lives than he took Probably by a whole lot much. They would have if if they would not have that going on. The war with Japan would have lasted another year or two, and millions and millions of people in ja- in Japan would have starved to death. Well, they said Japan knew that they were beat, but being defeated and Japan surrendering are two totally different things. Like they're going to go down with the ship. Yes, the samurai fighters. I mean, they believed in uh, kamikazes. Right. So he's like, just because they know that they're beaten does not mean that this is going to be an easy exit. In, so, one of, in one of the scenes in Pacific, yeah. a guy runs out. I don't know how so historically they, I wonder accurate. if y'all will see the bombs in that series. We're just on the second. Uh, yeah, and I, I, just, probably so. I mean, it's kind of but just started. They're just at Guadalcanal, and they're at... They're running out of ammo. They're, they're running out. It was, it was really a tough scene. It was it made you just hurt so bad. It makes for, you it, sick of it, our government. It, yes, and it pisses you off. These young people today don't know what was... Their freedom to be on that fucking phone and do nothing is because of what this greatest generation ever did. This kid was Marine 17 one. years old. 17 years old. And he was at his 18th birthday fighting. And they were... They, one kid ran over and he pulled dead Japanese guys off. So they got to have a shooting path with machine gun to shot. And they run out of bullets. This guy opens this... this just lays just down brrr, and just heavy duty deal and just mowing these japs over as they're coming across they're just running at him he's just mowing them down he runs out of bullets but what he had done before then was they moved back a little bit and they have a mitten that they put in so they can carry this machine gun because it's so hot right. and his mitten was gone and he carried and he had third degree burns down his arm and stuff and it's it, i'm sure it's pretty accurate because they That'd don't make movies be. like this without accuracy not all, but anyways, he mows them down, and the next morning he's sitting there and he's just reflecting. They all wake up and walking over dead bodies, and it's just dead, he's dead just like, Japanese people everywhere. And he just sat there and thought there, and the guy came up and said, "You're going to get a medal for that and stuff." And I thought, 
that's got to be so bittersweet and so hard. But then again, you got to realize from here if you to don't, that if, TV coming at them, if you don't mm-hmm. shoot these and kill these guys, they're, 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 shoot they're you. killing you. Yeah. And you're I mean, out of ammo. So I mean, just, you would still have that compassion of a human. That's what that you just killed all these people. So there was but this, this was other, there any other way? No. Like in the first episode, there was a guy, they had like ambushed him. And there was a guy came out of the out of the jungle, and they our people were kind of just picking at him, like shooting him in the shoulder, in the leg, you know, in the leg, just different places. Finally, one guy was sick of watching it because the guy was just yeah. screaming, "Just kill me!" So he just killed him. A Japanese guy, but, but, but it's it, <laughs> war is horrible, and it's the same with the guys in Afghanistan and just stuff. What it has but to do to your the, mind. The people yeah, here do not thinking. realize. Because again, what they went through, they're desensitized. And those guys came back and went to work. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, they didn't come back and 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 get a VA deal. And and we don't do enough for our veterans. And I'm like not, I told I'm Jeff, I that, said but, this right here is why my granddaddy we couldn't like wake him up if yeah. he was taking a nap. He would come up swinging. Yeah. I mean, he'd have just gone and killed himself if he'd ever done anything to us. The battle between but their he ears. Did yeah. hit my grandmother several times. You just couldn't wake him up. My dad had a grandpa that was messed up. <sighs> but There's I mean, you had never known it. Aside from that, mm-hmm. you would have never known it. They just PTSD was nothing. Mm-hmm. You don't hear about that. You go to work. And and different guys have different levels. If you're in oh. a fighter and you're fighting a fighter deal, you're not seeing up close and personal. Those guys in the infantry in those battles, the Battle of the hand Bulls, Guadalcanal, Iwo Jima and stuff, them guys were shooting. They were, they were killing people within 20 yards of each other a lot of times. You're shooting them. You're shooting a howitzer or somebody ten miles away, and that's only or you know that you don't have the same uh, personal. I don't think that look them in the eye and shoot them. Yeah, but or like, they're going to shoot like you. this bomb here. The guys that dropped the Nola Gay. I know a lot of them had a lot of remorse too. You know they wiped out what a hundred thousand people at Hiroshima died. I mean, you think about it, wiping out Wichita Falls or Abilene. Just that's it. But how can you think about that? But the Japanese were a- absolutely barbaric and brutal people. Probably the most bro- maybe. Outside of Genghis Khan, some of the most brutal and barbaric people in the world. Well, the Vietnamese weren't. Not like the think? the Japanese had went to China, and it just completely slaughtered those people. Slaughtered them. You know, it's funny too because we saved China from the Japanese. Russia was on their last leg with Germany if it wasn't for us. The mm-hmm. French, them big old pussies. They always rip on America all the time in the way we do shit. If it wasn't for us, they'd be still speaking German. If the United States not would not have got involved in World War II, the world would have been speaking German. No. Yes. 70,000 at Hiroshima, 40,000 at Nagasaki. Do you think so, Andy? If the United States didn't get in World War II, all of Europe would have been Germany, don't you think? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. they were already on their way. Right. If we wouldn't have even with us getting in, Even with us getting involved, they were... It was a hell of a battle. Well, I mean, it was a close one, yeah. A couple of, we got a couple of breaks, or we wouldn't have won that. God intervened. But the Germans were going to take over all of yeah, Europe. And, I was just saying by and they would have taken over Russia, and then Japan and Germany would have been fighting for the, for control. But well, Hitler kind of lost. Hitler kind of lost his mind in the middle of it because he didn't, uh, he got, he, instead of focusing on winning the war, he started exterminating as many Jews as he could. Yes. As soon as he started Same losing, person. he didn't double down on trying to win again. It was just, let's kill as many of the Jews as we can. Would you like to... mind going would, then? would you like to go to... Nah, just, uh, he just... Ego? Personal I think so. Vendetta? Probably so. He was eat up with herpes. I thought it was syphilis. Or one of them. Would, would, would you like to go to Auschwitz? Huh? Would you like to go to Auschwitz? I think would be like pretty a, sorry. Pretty sorrowful. Mm-hmm. I don't think I'd want to go. Kind of like a Ellis Island is very somber. Big difference between Ellis no, Island I know, and Auschwitz. I know, I know, but those did, places are just somber. So the, those period. places are they're a lot bigger than what I envisioned as a kid. Like you look at them and like they're the size of a city. Auschwitz? Yeah, it's huge. How big were the the ovens and stuff? Big, big, big. Well, I just mean like the compound. Oh, I'm sure it's pretty big. And you know, they said the people there. Did you see when they went in and liberated it? They the the local people a lot of them didn't know how bad it was going on. Right. They didn't know, and they made them go down and see what all their. their but every yeah. one of our anyone sitting in an office right now needs to go to way different. I know, but the border. I mean, you just have to. Yeah, our, you the, should have to know what you're allowing. Eighteen million people are going to come across in the Biden administration. Flooded our country. <sighs> Got come in yesterday with tactical gear. So and they the had people this. Are just. If yeah, you vote Democrat just, right now, you're a fucking idiot. So they had that. Or That's Republican. the sign whenever you walked into Auschwitz. 
and that means work will set you free. But basically, they were going to work you to death. Right. And that's when you were free. So they would just, as a, as a game, they would make Jewish men pick up salt bags and carry them around town. Just no purpose. Just pick that salt bag up, walk around town, just work you to death. And get old George Soros right in the middle of all that shit. Um, the Russian Revolution was just Allegedly. as bad. Yes. I mean, the things that they did to their own people, starving them. But I don't know. I mean, it, uh, part of me would like to go see it. I would like to go see Los Alamos. I don't know. Is it still standing? Because they built a city for all the scientists. Los Alamos, I think, is just a big city right now outside of... Uh, no, I mean, like, where they did everything. I, I doubt it. You don't I mean, I'm so? sure there's probably some there. I mean, people are always looking for a way to make money. New, Mex yeah. New Mexico Except is the, the gift store. ugliest, prettiest state in the United States. Very so is diverse. Arizona. Mm -hmm. It's either beautiful it. or just trash. Trash. Parts of California are beautiful. It. There's really pretty parts. The mountains. The right. last 30 minutes of the drive. Mm -hmm. Right. The rest of it's a shithole. I don't know how There's, they do it out there. You've never been west of Albuquerque, have you, Jesse? Probably not. If you go to I-40 and you go west of Albuquerque, oh. it's a reservation, and you can tell you're at the reservations because there's trash everywhere. Really? Yeah. Or a casino. And then it's more desert. Or a more bathroom desert, where you have another to Another casino. Key. Yeah, Michelle had to get a key. You had to get a key. For Michelle so to go then, to the bathroom. And that no, was in Arizona. You went first. That was in I did. That was in Winslow, Arizona, oh, though. Well, where we were, no, we Barslow. didn't even have any women's restrooms. It was Barstow. Yeah, we went to like Barstow. three different places. There was only the men's Unisex. restroom open. And finally, Andy, I was like, you're going to have to cover for me. He was like, well, there's men in here, but come on. I won't let anybody else come in. So I went in and used the bathroom. <laughs> It's 2024. They shouldn't have men's bathrooms and women's. It should be open, inclusive yeah. for everyone. California was the it same. It was that day. California, yeah. to be such a pretty state, and it, it is very diverse and beautiful. I will say this. The Pacific Ocean's beautiful. The mountains are beautiful. But there's a lot of area, like around Bakersfield, that we went through. Ain't a whole lot to look at. Yeah. There's I mean, not much get to look into, at when we go to Angel Fire. And from San Francisco right to there. L.A., not much to look at either. Almond. Tons and tons of oh, almond yeah. trees. So really? that was, yeah. At first, yep. Jeff was like, oh, that's cool. I was just sick of just looking at stuff going I, by. I would, I, I would really be interested though in one of our family vacations with kids, grandkids, Don't everybody. Drag them Lake Tahoe that. Oh. to fly into Lake Tahoe and yeah. go there. It's a beautiful place, very, very, very beautiful. I think Jeff. I would want to go there in the summer. Jeff, that, that's summer. I got more boogers you again. Never got God, that almighty, one. I did too. I've blown my nose. I think it's a up. hair. Is what it is. <laughs> We're on Booger Patrol today. Whoa. I got a booger, and everybody's telling me about it. No, I think it's a hair. We're just trying to help you. Gosh. Old God. Italian. There's you can there. trim those. Yeah, I'm going to fix them. Buy me another it's a cleaner. Gray, it's a gray hair. Yeah, that's what okay. it is. Well, is that what you saw earlier, you think? Mm -hmm. Oh, poor yeah. a cluster of them. Gray everywhere. Well, they're fucking a lot of them. They don't grow on my head no more. They grow on my ears and my nose <laughs> and my asshole. Getting old has bothered me recently. I don't know why. Why? Well, I don't know. Better than dying. More gray hairs are popping up and you just... But oh. it doesn't bother me, so why? Yeah, I just... Because you know what's coming. He's watching Jeff. What's oh yeah, coming? when we were in Nashville, he had a big old conversation with me about you getting just, old. You know what's you know what you is hurting? no, just you know things don't get better. Your limits. You yeah, knew your well, limits, well, and I'm know, proud of you, you for got, that. You, got, you dragged me home one. Night. You got another. You mean the clock's ticking? How old are you? Thirty six. The clock is. You're ticking. not halfway there yet. You wait till you get fifty five because my half my life's over. I mean, I know I ain't gonna be living yeah. one hundred and ten. <laughs> not that ain't happening. You might. Probably. I told someone the other day. I said, twenty years, I'll be seventy five. Actually, it'll be seventy six. I got a birthday in a couple of weeks. But you get a for real birthday this year. I do get a for real birthday mm -hmm. this year. But when you turn fifty years old, it was the first time I ever thought, "Fuck, it's half over." Mm -hmm. Really, honestly, did. Oh. And then, honestly. I've got 20 good years left. Probably, I think I'm going to live to be 88. That's my number. I'm living at 88. Your blood pressure, correct? Why, Why that way? Just 88 is what I'm going to live to be. I'm gonna, he keeps saying I'm that. I'm going to live to be 88. So I got 32, 33 years left on this rock. That's really not a lot when you think about it. Andy's 36. Mm -hmm. You think about it, but when you, time, it goes by so fast. A whole lot more sand on the bottom of the hourglass you know, than and the top. Heaven, I'm kind of nervous about heaven in some parts because <laughs> no, parts. I don't no, want to go to that part. No, no, no. What, I, what worries me, not worries me, but we've what had this discussion. Is, when I go to heaven, I want to know everybody as I know them now. Yeah, I think you will. That's I just think, my that, thing. That, but that, their idea of heaven may be different. But I think your your heaven is just going to be your heaven. To me, that's I stuff think. that we don't. To me, you don't have to worry about. Heaven's pure bliss. Right. 
So right. why worry about the details of it is. whenever it, we're here? I it, know. It's depressing but, to think of but I don't, that the boys. It's not going to be that way. Heaven's I don't think depressing. it's going to be that way. I hope you're it's, right. It's supposed to be greater than anything we've ever known. I mean, so I want to go ahead and have a conversation with my dad. You yeah. will. Well, but will he be my dad or just some other who, dude? That who cares? He's just going to be some other guy with nice wings. I like those wings. He has <laughs> Mimi, which husband she's going to have. That's a question. That's too. Jeff's. Yes. What about people with multiple husbands? Like that Daddy, she's away. got seven no. husbands that have, you know, that have all passed away. She didn't. If you choose to not be with them anymore, that's different. Right. That, like if you thought they were your soulmate, well, I guess you would anyway, but they passed away. Yep. I, don't, but, I mean, I don't know. That's Jeff's one. like, what if she's over there with her first one? Well, if she Get is, jealous. what if she, she decided she wanted that one more than, or that one? And that's what I told him. I, he, I said, maybe that's a, her idea of heaven, but in your idea of heaven, she's going to be with you. So what's it matter? That's just, it just, that's, you know, know. my grandparents, everybody that in my life that I've known, I've been good friends with, Tony's best friend, Chris, that got killed when he was 20 years old. You know, there's a lot of people that I look forward to. And I think it will be. I think it will be. I I think think it's going to be your idea of heaven. You, people stir up too much thought about it. Well, it beats the hell out of sweating your ass off and busting rocks all day. Well, yeah, exactly. I, I wonder if heaven will fall. Huh? Like it. Okay, go ahead. Well, God kicked out angels before. Oh, yeah. Yes. Because of disobedience. Uh, Lucif- Lucifer. Well, just Correct. all of it. Well, more than that. But I wonder if a similar situation will happen well, in heaven. Well, no. If it's because, going on now. I mean, the next thing that's coming is Jesus coming. What do you mean? That's the next. Everybody's I mean, in heaven. Everybody. Okay, everybody's in heaven. Jesus has come. Everything's over with. Oh, you put that knife down when you're having this conversation. <laughs> Sorry. Why do you have a knife? He's just, he feel. gets nervous. He plays that shit. I think he's going to stab um, me. Everything's over with, as we know on earth. Jesus has come back, took back everybody that's going to go. Everybody's in heaven that's going to get in heaven. There's no more life on earth. That's eternity, right? Correct. Will there be an uprising like there was before? Because if you think about it before, God created heaven so he had only his people there. That well, he, you're going to take all the luster out of this I deal. I was about to say, you've got to be the weirdest person I know. All the people that were in this little area were all people that God created. Right? And he created Lucifer. And Lucifer was his right-hand man. And he had to kick him out of heaven. Is there going to be a similar situation? There's some more subordinates up there that are going to get it kicked out. Well, I'm wondering. I might be. I don't know. Because you got to you got to think like what's going in, on up there. I thought the, heaven was so great, everybody, nobody would ever want to leave. They fought before. He's that's what saying. I. Was, but in the big, what, you don't think it was like that before? They got bored up there before, obviously, and created a little bored. ruckus. <laughs> I had a um. Like why did why why did why what happened up there for those fallen angels to have to come down here and rule Earth? And did they get it sorted out? Because okay, so like yeah, did God learn the first time? I'm like oh crap, and like this, I gave him way too because much. Because Lucifer was given Earth, correct? He banished him to Earth. Right. So like technically, given, this is his. His yes. playground. And so that's why all the he's the god of crap this is world down here. So small G. I had a I had a yeah. guy on that's on my social media whose daughter oh. passed away in an accident the other day. Young daughter, 10, 12 years old. And a guy wrote on his deal, he said, I am so sorry. He goes, I want to try to tell you something that will make you feel better. He goes, go to messenger for that. I, I already he tell said, you. I was in an accident and I, I, I passed away and I was dead for 20 or 30 minutes and they brought me back. And he goes, I wish they didn't ever bring me back. He goes, it was the most so wonderful amazing. place I've ever been in my life. And he goes, I'm telling you right now, your daughter is not suffering at all. She is so wonderful. And if they gave her that opportunity to come back, she would not come back. Wow. And and I thought, you know, as a, that would make you feel better mm-hmm. as a parent mm-hmm. to know that. But also, if what he's you saying, him. you got Andy over here ruining the luster of that deal. I'm not like, ruining well, the luster. It's there's just some, there's the way bad, my mind works. There's some bad actors up here now. <laughs> well, <laughs> don't hopefully get, the don't, dad would have yeah. been... Jeff, what have we talked about here. before? If you don't look at history, you'll never know. You'll you'll yeah, never right. you'll never learn from it. Yep. Repeat itself. So, so we, you want to make sure you run with the right characters when you get to heaven. Well, I mean, you know, you want to get. Hopefully, they've all been banished you know, to earth. I mean, you're, now you're going to tell me that all these people that didn't have such a clean record on earth now that are they're in heaven now, and you think they got it all sorted out they now repented. just because they're in heaven? They repented and didn't go back to their ways. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I mean, you know, this is just some things that you got to think about. And will so, you still backslide up there? So, you know, you won't have temptation up there to backslide. That's what I was going to say, I mean, your whole, uh, you just, 
you're changed into a pure soul. But did God not create pure souls the first time? The Maybe first crack he learned. It? Maybe he learned. Know. Maybe he was giving them free will back then. And we wonder where Reese gets it from. And maybe he took That's away all. Te- <laughs> he said, "No more temptation in heaven. We did this once. Let's, because he can." Just- I, I mean, you know, you would think so. Um, so you know why your life flashes before your eyes? Does it really flash before your eyes? People say that it does. So okay. what happens is your brain realizes it's in a bad situation about to not be here so what it does is it goes through every memory that you have to try to figure a way out of the situation that you're in it goes it goes to just your entire life like how do we get out of this how do we get out of this how do we how do we keep moving forward as a being that's why your life flashes before your eyes what if you never had a bad situation to get out of? Then you like didn't the have worst a good life. Got out but of. that's what it's saying. But it, your your brain doesn't know the difference. It's just recalling everything that it possibly can to how do we get how do we get one more breath as it's shutting down? Because your brain's shutting down is what it's doing when you're whenever you're dying. So they think what it's doing is all that starts to fire to figure out how you can live a little bit longer. Light or what? What's lighter? Is anybody else in here ever passed out from lack of oxygen rather than me? Have you ever? Yeah. You have? Mm-hmm. When was that? Oh, when y'all used to do that thing That's in junior high. They probably when they used to, when they used to do that in school. And Eric, you get out that in between. Remember yeah, when you'd hold around. your breath until... I did that in they school. Used, they didn't y'all, y'all used to do hold this. Hold like yeah. your... Whatever that yeah, is. Carotid you shut it all down. No, I've never done that. Eric passed Everything out. Everything just goes... I passed, passed out from alcohol, but... Tom Jacobs one time did that to me in school. Did that... And they squeeze you real hard. And I woke up on the floor. Yeah, oh, they I, had to call Missy. I got knocked out one time jumping off my trampoline. No, but you that got, was it. it just hit. But the same thing. You, your your mind is going the whole time. Even but where you right think out. it? Where did your world flash before you? Yeah, I saw this girl's boobs from high school. Mm-hmm. Mine, I was like, wow. No, I don't. Remember. That was his one last memory. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's I was, the one he I was, was going I was, out with. I was fifteen. <laughs> No, I probably never went out with her. I just wanted. No, to, that's probably. the one you wanted to go out. Probably on. so. Did I was just kidding about like that. that. Did what? Stupidest. I didn't do stupid shit. Oh, we, I thought you were talking about when I mean, to see boobs. I didn't. Oh, I thought you were talking about boobs. You've got no, that boobs. was a guy What's thing. That was a guy thing. They Worst I did, did that I in ran away one time and I took my roller skates. That's all I cared I had was my roller skates. <laughs> I hid on the top, on the roof because our tree was perfect. I was up there roller skating like they couldn't hear me. They had oh no gosh. clue where I was. First of all, there we are, 70s kids. If mm-hmm. you drove down the road today and you saw some kid roller skating <laughs> on the roof, you'd call the fucking cops on the parents right it now. It was dinner time. I was like, I'm out of here. Mm-hmm. Took my roller I've skates. I've had enough. I don't know. I just know people get bored. Just like Blake. Blake's in par- paradise right now. He's, he's ready called to get, us every day. He's ready to get home. He's FaceTime or seven days snapped. is a long time though. But that's so but that's wife. what I'm saying, and that's but what they've I was already telling, been married almost. A and year, that's what so. I was telling him. Like you know, everybody's dream is well, I'm gonna that's go, true. I'm yeah. gonna go to a beach and I'm gonna drink and I'm not gonna have any any problems. How long, is that, how, how long does that last? Do you want to be around one person? I don't care who it is for seven straight days. That's just you what and that I'm person. saying. They've already yeah. been no. married. Too. No, fuck no. But that's what I'm saying. You get you don't want to be around after. me like that. Not seven days. We just did that the, the other car, day. In Drove the car, me nuts. Like, hey, well, look, I, I do. I, I, when we went to St. Lucia, I I thoroughly enjoyed being with Andy for that long. But how long would that but last? I, I, I didn't think, notice him coming back and saying, "Oh, I did too." I think the difference is what I was going to say with Blake and Emily is like we miss getting to be alone together I'm not because sa- we have our kids i'm talking we about, love our kids but we miss having just our time together so. i'm talking about people in general how long could you have stayed in st lucia before For, you're like this is, I'm how done. long could you sit in the car with <laughs> jeff looking at and beating storms no i'm telling you that's that's I fair i don't I have a problem with I that i can't answer that because i didn't get to a limit where I was like, okay, I'm ready to come the home. second we get yeah. home, Jeff, I'm going to the casino. I've young, got free money. Young we'll people go. and older people look at things different. Of course. We're older. We're comfortable doing our own thing. Spend enough time together. We have, and we spend a lot of time together. The, and and Andy and Jesse will get there because I've noticed them bicker more about stuff in the last couple of years than they used to. You do. You just <laughs> oh, yeah. don't realize it. It's because it's just life. Do your mom and dad bicker sometimes? Of course. They've been together for a long time. Do you think your dad and mom... I don't care which side you take, moms or dads, you give them seven days together, they're ready for a break. 
especially in a they vehicle. They don't really get breaks from each other. Well, they need them. We don't, other than hunting season. and Because, I mean, they'll go to Abilene or Wichita, but they go together. That, yeah. That's not a bad thing, but seven straight days of not being around anybody else or doing anything else. Oh, being around anybody Now, now your parents don't have a lot of social outside of each other, right? Well, they just we don't. went to friends with... They did, with, with, yeah. with Stan and them, Yeah, right? But but they need that. Yeah. Honestly, what do we have? I have just a lot more friends than you do. You have a lot. Yeah, your yeah. social I got the grandkids. circle and me. Yes, yeah. and just is, the, I have a lot bigger is, social. Is, is and I'm fine with that. I've yeah. chosen that. Yeah. Like, it just works. Yeah. 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 Well, I don't have a social circle. But you get to see people. We have family. Yeah. Your clients, I, yeah. Which, yeah. 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 But, we have family. But as you get We could almost uh, do older, one of those compounds. You generational can, <laughs> compound. Mm -hmm. no. We can start it out here. No, we're talking about like they've got their yeah. house down there. We've got ours no, here. I couldn't handle that. We Pretty, but do but that. people need, people around just the same people all the time get old. I don't give a shit who it is. I don't care if you're with your so dad, your brother, your Mexico. sister. And that's you know, what I tell you, you all the time. You can around yeah. other people. I wish Trevor and Haley lived closer to us because yeah. I'm like, they, we'd be best friends. But Jeff will do be, the with she's them. probably living. Yeah. She's like, I'm glad we live a long uh, way from them. Yeah. <laughs> Once a year is enough. Yeah. Jeff will be like, Oh my God, do your words ever run out? And I said, Well, I don't talk to anyone yeah. like all day long, yeah. but myself. Yeah. And I literally talk and answer myself. That was like Sometimes. this morning when myself. me and mom were working out. I think she was getting annoyed because I wouldn't shut <laughs> up, but I, I haven't worked. Right. You know, since, well, I guess I worked yesterday. I haven't worked very much this week because we're focusing uh -huh. on the house. And so I'm like, I just have. Things to talk about. I've got words built I'm, up. I miss so Harry many a day. because I miss talking and visiting with Harry. Mm -hmm. Harry gave me a different outlook to talk yeah. to people about because we had a lot of things and that I really enjoyed. Y'all had the same level of of what y'all enjoyed talking about. Yes. Knowledge on history. Your we liked history and what life was about and how this. Yeah. I mean, we had a lot of that, and I miss that. I miss having a conversation to talk with someone about the same. We had the same interest. I miss conversation. And, 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 and you get on to me. And I can't have that conversations with Michelle because yeah. we're at a different level on different things we think about. Nothing bad, but the things that are important to her and stuff. We had, and that's what you I You have miss. a man's brain and she has yes. a woman's brain. And so I miss having a friend that I can talk to about stuff that relates to my, because every one of them, Coach Steele was the same way. I really mm -hmm. enjoyed visiting. He moved off, you know, Fred's gone now. And Harry was here and Harry had to go die on me. So, you know. You see a pattern? Everyone leaves Jeff. Yeah, everyone or leaves dies. Jeff. Everyone leaves leaves Jeff. Speaking of that, if you Jeff's don't call Steve Barber, Barber oh gosh. he called me last night. And this morning. And wants you to call him. Well, in his defense, I, no, he I, has been I, truly I told him very busy. I told they him that. They were sick. I yeah. mean, literally, we just, if you think about it, finished hunting season. Yes. We all went snow skiing. Skin, then we went to sick. Nashville. Yeah. Um, House. Nashville. I still don't know how y'all went snow skiing with the flu. And then, like you said, with Jeff wanting, or you got sick of just talking to me, so he'd call Andy, and Andy was like, swap, whatever. I don't feel like talking to him right now. Decline that one. That was... Jeff's just bored. He's got nothing <laughs> to say to I me. And I am not. I do not want to talk to anyone. He's got nothing to say to me that's going to be constructive. He's just yeah, bored. He's bored. Let's talk about hunting season real quick before we get off here. Ooh, we hadn't talked about that, have we? From y'all's, your perspective, Michelle, you're here every day. How would you rate the year? A blur uh, on a, like what? Which the overall what part? The overall. The hunting. The staff. we survived is all I can say. We survived, especially in the kitchen. We survived. We we went through a lot of transitions this Ooh. year because we lost some girls that worked here for a long that time. Were work, and oh, we lost them before season. Then we also lost one during season. Right. I thought I had to give me a lot of relief. And but we had one step up majorly. Jessica, Jessica did a great job. Oh, oh, I'd have died without her. But we ended up having a pretty good team. We had a great team. team. But until we were we found our out what they is off. until we found out what they ended up leaving. Huh? <laughs> the trash. The trash. No, 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 no. We're talking about the ladies. Oh, we're talking about the ladies. You just said a great team. No, no, I'm talking oh, about the no. kitchen ladies team. Yeah. No. That's what's crazy. Is there's different. In, I thought in general that it was a great, great year, team great until yeah. I that, saw that. Just, just, I'm not talking about the trash. One of the guys left a bunch of shit here. Not happy about uh, probably that. Probably a couple of, but, three of the guys. But the overall deal with the women in the kitchen was very, very good. Mm -hmm. We we overcame oh. some obstacles. Yeah. Because dove season was good. Mm -hmm. We got into goose season, and the first day of goose season was a total clusterfuck, mm -hmm. which will be on season three of the first family because I lost it a couple of times there. That was a you the Friday should, before I hunting should've. season was a very, very and that was all frustrating on morning, and most Some of, of it a was night on was most of it was on me. 
Most of it was ninety percent of it was on me. But we had a lot of behind the scenes issues, like Jessica. No, and it wasn't really an issue, but she had her first grandbaby coming, so she was gone a not a little, not a lot more. But she never got a break. I mean, I think no. she was here more than I was. Um, Sonia with Al had to take him to chemo a little more. So you realize how much you lean on these people when they have have to be gone because they do sacrifice and like i say they're oh jessica was here way more than i was it takes a it takes a lot to make this place run yeah this and is not a typical hunting place where you're just running a group of 10 20 people a no. day and that's it i mean we're feeding 50 people a day a lot of days we've got multiple people working well, heck, here we've got 20 ladies people just between staff and oh, gosh, our family yeah. yeah i mean yeah and like i told jeff i deal with so not so many different dynamics because I get to deal with trying to figure out what the guides like mm -hmm. and don't like. And, you know, you got clients, that, oh, well, they're asking for this tonight. They, you know, uh, orders or, for all supplies, just everything, the cleaning and stuff. A lot of times they'd be like, oh, we're out of this. Crap. Well, I didn't know that. But I mean, that's fine too, because like I say, they're so busy keeping up with stuff, but there's so many different balls. How many, juggle. how many seats are at that family table in there? You think? Way too many. 20? No, not too many. Oh, like There's 20 spots in there, we, probably. And, and there every not night. Enough. Andy usually stands up and eats. I there's always sit on the not bar. Not enough room. And there's not enough. No. And that's Which what people fine. don't understand. We're not only feeding 30 or 40 clients. We're feeding 20 mm -hmm. family members and staff people every night. Mm -hmm. And we got order for them. And it went off pretty smooth. That's what I said. Oh. I, I told a guy in Nashville that he was we like, man, I was just so impressed how organized everybody was. I was like, <laughs> and they were here the first if, weekend. If you'd have seen what was going mm -hmm. on behind the scenes, you would be like, that's total clusterfuck. Yeah, thank God you got to eat because we were wondering, uh, Michelle, how many did you cook for tonight? What is it like being a mom? And this is a question for both of y'all in being involved in this business, because I'm going to go back to this now. I'm going to go back to when the boys were little okay. and your boys are little now because you've got to debt. And I don't remember a lot of our boys being little during hunting season as much because I was always busy doing what I'm doing now. But the, do your boys get where they're tired of being here sometimes? Or do they love I, coming out here every night? I don't think they do. You I, do. I do. <laughs> yes, I understand that. Yeah. I Michelle do, would take I, a night off every once in a yeah. while. She goes, the boys just need to stay home tonight. Yeah. I don't know if it's much for the boys as it was no, for her. No, the boys <laughs> did. I mean, they. it was like their homework needed to be done at that's, home. Yeah, that's where what I, I, I feel like I don't realize what they it, sacrifice kind of. Or what it does to our life. Being out here every night, you get home and you're like, crap. Reese, you didn't tell us about your homework or this and that. And then you're like hurrying. Mm -hmm. And then and you look up and it's way past his bedtime. And then I'm mad. And so I had even told him this year and he thought I was saying it as like, I I don't want to be here. I told him, I said, I every year, even though I've been doing this as long as I have, I'm still learning and figuring it out and figuring out what I need to do. Where What I've always done is I've totally put everything I've got going on on the back burner just so that I can be out here as much as I am. But then it creates that. Mm -hmm. Like, at night, Reese didn't do this, or Reese, this has to be done, and that has to be done. And now we're home late, and now I'm in a bad mood because it's not done, and now it needs to be done. And so I had told him this year, I said, I'm not doing that. I'm going to more so do, still continue on my life and then be here when I can. Right. And for me this year, I was definitely, I 100% was in a much better headspace because I did that for myself. Wait till you, he's and 16 and he drives out here by himself at night for dinner. Y'all also had the kitchen remodel. So, yeah. well, and you figure out everything every other year because everything changes from year to year. The boys completely They're on change. different levels. Well, They're that, and I mean, they, and like this year, Reese had more homework. <clears> and you don't have to get Jameson home as everything early. You s everything changes from year to year because the boys change from year to year. And next year, so you have, we'll have so you work. have to find the right balance of okay, well, this is too much. This is this is lacking or whatever. Yeah, and sadly so it's not enough, a bad you thing. don't realize. <clears throat> well, that's what when I told you that you thought I was telling you a bad thing when I just meant I'm not going to totally put my life on hold to be out here at lunch or be here mm -hmm. out here at supper. I mean, because a lot of times I would get disappointed because I would come at lunch and I wouldn't even get to see you. I was going to say because, Andy would be yeah, cleaning he wouldn't birds even, or, or had he, to come in here or and do he'd podcasts. come right in right. as I was leaving and then I would be all disappointed because right. I came out here to see him and I didn't get to. 
So I realized, and like I said, for my headspace, it was. Well, it's been a long time since you've been disappointed. You come out here and don't see me. Until <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you went to the hospital. You. Do you. Uh, How was that for you? What? Being in the hospital and not being able to be out here. I had my phone. I know that, but I it's don't, way I don't, different. I don't like not being here. It's for not anything. the same. I'm not going to lie. It's not the same. No, it's I, pretty I, scary on our end. I, it's different. Tony, God bless him. He's just not a, it's not his deal. And he don't want to do well, it. Well, he's not, not the him. business part of it. And no. rightfully, He'd rather I mean, y'all have that figured out. He does. That's your thing. And he, he's, he's happy doing his stuff and I'm having doing his. Cause I try to make a point to go talk to everybody every night. I like to know everybody's feedback, bad or good. Yeah. If you have a bad experience. There is no reason for anybody to ever leave here unhappy without coming to talk to me and let me know what, what's wrong. Well, I know at the end of the season, you're always kind of tired of that part of it, but it is one thing that sets you aside. I mean, when you go stay at Embassy Suites, nobody's coming and talking to you. Right. I right. mean, it to me I tr- that creates I try to the go- whole ambiance and yeah. experience to know that where your money's going our customer service is as good as here as any outfitter in the country i'm telling you right now we go visit the customers visit with people or the clients visit with the customers we're an open door and i feel bad a lot of times because i don't see people that'll come through like really uh, people that have come through a bunch and jeff will say something about they you know left been or whatever yeah. and i was like i didn't even see them and that's what we were telling that couple from uh wisconsin, wisconsin. I, I don't get to see them that much usually my back is turned yeah to them you're working on stuff. as i'm putting stuff together but, but i i do like to try to go when i was in the hospital it was different i was worried i was i was really 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 worried i was gonna die i'm not did gonna your lie life and you were probably eyes? thinking oh crap i did this is going on and i haven't prepared anybody yeah. for and it. that's what i kept telling him i said i have insurance we have got well, that well that's the not the issue. part that anybody's the worried issue about was like <laughs> yeah it is because she wouldn't to... have to work ever again you wouldn't that's once that's again. What that's I was not wor- but what that's, we're talking about. Right. This would have been a wreck. Oh, that no figured one, it out. We almost couldn't sink or swim. We would have gone yeah. through his notebook. We can, you can't figure him out. He that we can't. can't even read. He can't figure. No, no, him no out. I got everything on computer. Opening weekend. No, you don't. You don't. Yeah, but I've got because even a new system head, now. I've got a new is system. Is there a that password that we're going to have? Yeah, everybody's system. It's, Let's it's teach system. Andy the system. I've got, He's please. got the system that opening day, like three uh, groups showed up that yeah. we didn't no, know that's about. Because, that's Michelle, how many a, did you cook for? I had a computer glitch. That's what the problem was uh, that day. That that That's what the whole problem was. I sound a lot day. like Reese now. Whenever you know? Reese misses something on his computer, well, this damn computer is changing yeah, the answers glitched. again. It glitched. No, 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 no. That, that's, that, that, if that only happened one day. It was just that one date. Is that true, Michelle? Uh-uh. Yes, it was too. We didn't ever have any. If we that did that, it would have like been opening just, weekend, oh, yes. wasn't it? Yeah. Right. Any, anything else? If I screw up, I screw up. And it was like, but it worked had to out, get the right? Yes. Didn't we have yes. rooms for people. We, we, they it was, scrambled. It was lucky. But Thank God, I think Jessica was working that night. Wasn't she? We, we, she had to go out and do rooms real quick. No, all the maybe? rooms were done. We just had to disorganize or to reorganize some things. It worked out great. But when I was in the hospital, my biggest fear was: is if I die, is my family taken care of financially? Well, but you that's, already knew that anyway. That's, so. that's what I worried about. I wasn't worried about Andy stepping in on my role. He would be fine doing it. It would take we a transition period. We might have had to get pain to hack into some stuff. <laughs> yeah. His brain. But no, there's nothing. To, everything's right there. Everything <laughs> no. is there. Yes, it is. That computer is right there. Everything is okay. on that computer. Well, hey, I don't have, have a another... hidden. I don't have a hidden fucking computer no, somewhere. No, but sometimes well, still in your just head. the operation of how to. I mean, you think somebody just. You think he could just come in tomorrow and figure that, out how to operate your whole part of it? Yes, because it's, it's you're all in on a your computer. head. You've got like what groups? I, I don't. He's, yeah, he's yeah. Smart. Or he you can know, figure that out. like how many people can run a day, and ha- I mean you. Y'all are not giving Andy near enough credit. Y'all are acting like I'm fucking a heart surgeon. Can you do it, Andy? Yes. What? Can you do it tomorrow if you had to? We got three groups tomorrow. Yeah, you can figure it out. It's not that hard. Y'all are giving me well, way, way, way too much. Or than, than what if I'm he doing. died, if he died right now, and then you had to take over all the booking and all As the things that in. are going leading up to the season, could you handle all that now? It's returning oh, phone call right now. Yeah. Everything is in a computer. Everything's in a book with everybody's number. Every invoice has got everybody's phone number and stuff in it. Okay. It's a computer. I've got everything color coded. I have so, a I have a color code for when I send invoices out. I have a color code for when they pay me a deposit. I have a color code if they go to Nebraska. And have a color code if they're in Texas. It's all right there. It's very simple. Mm-hmm. Someone so, there would so, definitely so be there would definitely be a learning curve because it doesn't matter what like you can use a superintendent for an example. 
one superintendent is not going to run the yeah. school the exact same as the other oh, superintendent. No. So, I mean, it it's... You have to figure out your way. You have to find out. You yes. have to find your system. So, there would be some overlap, and I'm sure there would be some stuff that he does that I would do differently oh. just as far as that. But that's just finding your system. Yeah. yeah. It wouldn't, it's not that hard. The, 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 my biggest strong, but my biggest asset to our company is, is I'm really good at visiting with people. No matter what they talk about, I can find common ground usually to visit with people. I'm really good at smoothing over if we have an issue. There's probably some guys like you fat ass. I had a problem with you. Mm, there but, were, <laughs> but, but, but I, I'm really good at that. And I'm really good at scouting and figuring out what we're going to do tomorrow. That's my thing. But everything, everything that I do, Andy can do. Andy knows. No, I wasn't Andy discrediting ner- Andy. A- Andy gets bit. more nervous than I do about stuff. <laughs> yes. And, and and him having to make decisions on days that it's not cut and dried, he just gonna have to learn to just trust himself and just go with it. You can't. You can't. Yeah. We can't control the hunting anyways. That's the part he'd have to learn to do. But everything else is, you know. If something happened to Tony, I'm worried about how who's going to fucking do all the maintenance shit around here you on a full time deal. You, who? I don't know. You can't yeah, find someone to Knox do City. shit. Yeah, I mean that's there's everything we do, everything Andy does, Tony does, and I do. You probably, it probably all takes for Tony, three of us. You wouldn't be able to have one person. You'd have right. to call right. Lynn Electric for this one exactly. thing, and yes. you'd have to call this one for this one thing, Absolutely. and this one for this one Absolutely. thing. Like you wouldn't be able to find one person that right. could. It can get it done this it. fast. Just yeah. like you say, you can do it could. without me. Andy could, could, but we, we, Andy would, can, we would need you somewhere else. But that, that's the thing is it takes it takes the, the team. It takes Andy doing what he does with all the social media, the podcasting, the guides, all that stuff. It takes Tony with everything outside, all the deer feeders, all the stuff he takes care of. It takes care of me. It takes Michelle doing the kitchen and the ladies. I mean, it's a team concept. Mm-hmm. And that's when I hear these guys come up to me at a show and they're like, man, boy, I know what it is. You're meeting a guy at a grocery store every day, and you're picking up six guys, and you're going to hunt. You scout and you hunt. That's that's a pretty simple deal, and I'm not knocking you for that at all. But it's just a whole completely our situ- our deal is different it's like than a, a lot of people out here. Yes, honestly, it, it is, and, and that's it, what people in town and anywhere else don't realize. All I mean, it's there's a, whole... a lot more to it than people realize, but it's really simple. I My can't... job is a very simple job. It's just it's the things I do every day. And you have to have people that do designated positions. But when I was in the hospital worried about it, I was more worried about financially. I worry about the grandkids getting to go on trips every year. That's the you kind of stuff I worry about. You left us all this money. We'll be fine. That, 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 mm-hmm. and, I, and, and that's what I want them to do. But, I mean, think, little things like that yeah. is what I was worried about more about. I'm not scared to die. I'm, I'm, I'm hope I'll go to heaven. Well, you keep you know? talking about it. But that's, I'm, I mean, I'm not scared to death. I'm just scared of what is left behind that. And then I see people that pass away that are young all the time. Uh, a buddy of mine's wife just died. She died of cancer. She's 52 years old. She got some grandkids. Man, what that just, that sucks. And you and you see it all the time with people, you know? Yep. And it's life sucks sometimes. It's too short. That's why you need to go live your life. Yep. Go, go do shit that you want to well, do. Well, because you can't guarantee that when you get to finally retire that your body or, right. I it's mean, gonna that you're going to be able to. Mm-hmm. That's what's so, like. A lot of people, you can use that as an example. Everybody says, "Well, I'll go." When I retire, I'll go do this. Are you still going to be mm-hmm. able to snow ski? Can't yeah. you know? Physically, you might be alive, but but can but, your body, like you know, people say they're going to go see the leaves change. They only change once a year. Yep. It ain't it ain't like you can just book it three hundred sixty five right. days a year and say you're going to go watch the leaves change. How many more autumns are you going to have where you can make the trek up to New England, thirty two, or wherever? 32. No, I'm not. That's I'm going to live to be 88. But uh, okay, let's say you live to 88. How Wait. many uh, He said 32. Yeah, so I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to be like my dad. I'm going to go until I that and when I get to dad's point I, I want to die anyway. Okay, well, you got a you got a partner. You got a partner in this. How many more Let's say you got 32 years left on the planet. How many of those 32 years could you make the trip? How many more of those 32 years could you go snorkeling? Could you do whatever? Cuz the last 10 years or so probably are not going to be all that good. You're going to have back problems. You're going to replace your hip and your knee. You might live to 88, but you stop living at 78 or 75. I want to live until I can't do what I want, then I want to die. Whether it's 81, 82, 96. I don't want to be one of those people that's for five years sitting in a recliner not doing nothing. I do not want to do that. But there's so many people that they have to do. But 
We have lived our life. If we both mm-hmm. die today, we have seen more than most people see, and we've went more than most people mm-hmm. see. We have very little money saved up because we go do shit, and that's why I'm going to continue to die. Well, because well, whenever, you, whenever you die, you, <laughs> you're not going to get to do anything with that's, it. So. That's exactly right. And that's what we joke about when you know we take the big family trips. We're spending y'all's inheritance, but y'all get to go along with this. So, well, we want to experience that, but with y'all, there, there, a guy was hunting with me a couple of years ago, and I've told this story, I think, before on the podcast is he uh, he dealt with a guy every day that worked for a city. He had a city job, like at a transfer station or something. And he'd see him every day to drive a truck in there, and he'd visit with this old boy. And this guy worked six days a week. He was going to retire early, saved up all his money for him. And he kept telling him, he said, man, I'm retiring. When I retire, I'm going to go fish. I'm going to fish here. I'm going to fish here. It's so all this guy wanted to do is go fish. It was what he was going to do his whole retirement. He was going to go fishing all the time. Well, saw the guy on a Friday, and he said, heck yeah, my dad, my day is last day is today. He said, I'm going to fish. I'm going to miss visit with you. It's good seeing you. Keep in touch. Shook hands. Next Monday, he went to the same place. And he saw the new guy at the gate, and he said, I wonder where old Charlie's fishing at today. He goes, you didn't hear? He goes, no. He said, Charlie died of a heart attack Friday night. Guy worked his ass off yeah. to save money to go do all the shit he never did before because he was going to wait till he retired. Never got to do none of it. Yep. And I don't want to be that guy. Mm-mm. And my dad, I'll say this much for my dad. I love my dad and I miss my dad a lot. My dad had a lot of good habits and he had a lot of bad habits. But my dad was a very good man and would do anything for anybody. And he didn't die with a lot of money. But dad did what he wanted to do most of his life. And that sure is a whole lot better than a lot of people. That Well, my dad. Mis- were, exactly. He worked exactly. Until, but he never expected. I mean, he went to work and then. But he never got to see a lot of places he no, wanted to see or do. because he thought he had time. Yep. And that's you never, ever, ever know when it's that time to go. And that's why I wish, you know, I wish more people would do that. Don't worry about working so hard to save so much freaking money. That's easier to, said than done. It is. I mean, we're in a very comfortable position where we can do that. Right. Well, so or if easy. a lot of people, I mean, just simple stuff. If you ever look at all sips or penmans and see how many people every single day mm-hmm. go, you know, spend $10, $15 in there every single day right. when it's like, you could not do that and then Maybe take a trip. Patient. There's places to go that are cheap. You don't have to go to expensive places. And we're blessed where we've got basically six months out of the year where we can do things like that. Who's off six months of the year? I said, kind of. of You can work around the schedule, Jeff. Like you're busting our butts. Yes. To get no, pod, or you, Andy, you both I, are busting your butts to get podcasts in, so we can go to Mexico. I'm not. I'm not judging anybody else for not. I'm just saying, go do stuff. No, I'm saying we're also blessed where we've got a bigger yes. calendar. To do there's stuff a, like that six there's a months whole out of the year. Of, six months out of the year, we don't go anywhere but the house in here. There's a whole lot of people that got a whole, whole, whole lot more than we do that don't ever do shit. That's the person I'm talking to. I'm not talking about the guy that's struggling to pay bills because I've been there before and you work towards find you something you enjoy, work hard, and get out of that hole. I'm talking about the guy, and there's a lot of them out here that's got a whole lot of money mm-hmm, that don't ever do shit, and yeah. they're going to die, or and they're they going to give their money to somebody else. Up. That's what I was going to say. I worked for somebody that had a whole lot of money, but sometimes, too, those people are like, he was a dick. I don't, I don't know if you'd say addicted, but, um, I mean, just dick <laughs> being at work 24 seven because there's and nothing. never went and did anything and, you know, kind of scrutinized me for going and doing stuff. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what's the point of you having all this money? Right. If you don't, what's that's the right. What's the point of you having all this Another, money when you've never even experienced anything? There's Another not a better in place town. in heaven because you got money. The poor guy and the rich guy in heaven are the same. Yeah. Oh, that's what we've been told. Until it falls. Until, until it falls. Until, until they it falls. start falling again. But, well, there's another guy in town. We talked about had all the money in the world. Now can barely walk. I mean, by the time he retired and stuff, never really went anywhere that we know of. I don't know. He just might not have. There was an old man I was in town with that died a long time ago that had probably the most money of being bay in Knox City. And he went to Hawaii one time. And he told me, he said, have you ever been to Hawaii, Jeff? So it's the only place in the United States I haven't been. And I have no desire to go to Hawaii. I would like to go see... Pearl Harbor and a few things, but I just don't really. And he told me, he goes, you know, he goes, that's an expensive place. And this guy's, this guy bought two or three hundred thousand dollars worth of Yahoo stock when it first came out, so he's probably worth thirty or forty million dollars. And he told me, he said, you know, I went there one time. And he said, God, it's expensive. He said, they got a lot of termites there. <laughs> that's what he got out of Hawaii was for termites. And he told me, he said, you know, he said, shit is so expensive down there. He said, we just went and got a loaf of bread and some bologna and stayed in the hotel room. 
This guy's got tons and, and tons and tons and tons of but money. But he still had a smart brain on his head. Yeah, that's to, what I'm saying. I mean, his perspective. But He's yeah, but you, you spend all that yes. time. You spend all that money getting to Hawaii, right. and now you're going to get cheap he and eat bologna sure and stay in your hotel. Yeah. I mean, we're talking. This guy's got millions. He could go eat lobster every night, go on tours, and he wouldn't even noticed it. Would not have noticed it. But his business mind wouldn't let him have fun. It, right. No, and it wasn't a business shame. mind. It was called being a tight ass. Well, that's his business mind. But he grew up in the Depression that's era. That's how he got exactly. so much money yep. is he was he making smart spin. decisions and he still had a smart head on him. But, but you know what? I went to his funeral and you know how you know what they did with all that money? Oh. It wasn't there. There wasn't no hearse. There wasn't no armored car behind the hearse. He nothing. probably said, don't have this elaborate funeral. But Save money. All so that. Sure. money. Well, I'm sure his, his kids probably wasting his grandkids now, but he doing what he should have done with his money. Mm, but yeah. he never, ever, ever did anything other than go on like two little trips because he didn't want to spend it. He was too worried, too worried about losing money. And I just life's too short for that shit. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it really is. If you've got the means, get up off your ass and go see something. OK, like so we've also had this discussion. We'll take dad back, for instance. He had no desire. I mean, there were a couple yeah. of places he said people get he really to didn't that care. He didn't care if he and, didn't. That and, was he was thought, happy as ever. And just worked. And some people, care. some people are different. I had someone just message me the other day about going to Maine. You've been to Maine, Jeff. What do you think we should go in Maine? I said, go see it. What would you? I can't tell you a destination what, in Maine that you yeah, have to what go do see. You like? The, the, I like Kenny Bunkport. I think it's a neat little town. I like seeing the Portland Head Lighthouse. I would like to go to Bar Harbor again. We're going to stay in the mountains this summer in Maine. I love Maine. I like everything about it. I just like seeing it. It's different. Right. But you I'm know? just saying not everyone has that desire to see the world. No. but And that's okay, too. But if you like to fish, go somewhere besides Miller's Creek Lake if you've got money. Is it Miller's you know? Creek or it's, Miller? It's no, Miller's. Which it's one Miller's. Is it? Oh, I thought it was Miller. No, the sign Mil says Miller. Andy's on Waters Board. What is it? It's Miller's. It's so Miller's. Actually, the sign, if you look coming it's, into Gory from like. Stuff falls, it says Miller's Creek. It's that's the official name is Miller's. Hmm. Where that came from. I'm that's sure the, the people shop. Miller's had the creek. First I don't know, I but I grew it. up and it was Miller's Creek. It is creek. Miller's. And Thank that's at 49%. You. Yep. Mm, that Miller's good? Creek Reservoir. We need some rain. But it needs to be in the right spot. But those people that do that, that can nice. that have the money to go see it, you need to go do it. I mean, go 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 see things you like to. The Grand Canyon. I've seen it two times. It's not that big a deal. But to me, you got to go see it. Some and what'd you do? Like we went and looked. He was like, all right, we saw it. Let's it's go. Big ass hole. We got to get go. to Vegas. Well, because that's, you got to be a hiker to do that. And no, we think. drove to No, you spot. can drive right to it and look. Well, I Looked. know, but to me, to like experience it, don't it's, you need to be hiking? It's two and a half miles down that son bitch. That's a hell of a hike back. Take a canoe ride. You know what I want to do that I've Hang never on. been on? Can you do half of it? <laughs> no. What I want to do that I've Which never been on. And I'm going to go one of these days, probably to Michelle's day, because Michelle don't want to do it. I want to go on a train ride. I want to go on a train trip. Oh, mom and dad did that. They loved it. Michelle wanted to go on the Skunk Express, and it was like an hour long, and it was way out of the way, and it was pouring down So it rain. wasn't good enough? Yes, that's right. Not good enough. I want to go on a two-day um, excursion. Where? Rocky Mountains, they have them that go from Banff Park, which they say is a beautiful place. Man. Alberta. It's a two-hour trip. and it's, it's Then we had to listen, listen to some to comedian. freaking comedian talk about going on a trip and how scary the, the sleeping situation. And like, yeah, they would just put you in a room with random people. I oh. looked it up. That's not true. Mm. The, they the, were the, talking about the smell the one that i found that goes to banff you stay at a, a nice like embassy suites hotel every yeah. night you stay at a really nice hotel that they have along the way so that's not what you said you wanted you said I you wanted to sleeping in the train i think and stan and donna did that one time i would love to do slept it slept in the, and maybe you, you smell uh, like coal no it didn't. aaron and jordan carter might have done that <laughs> they don't have they're not on coal I, that would be cool to go on an old-fashioned no. train trip that would really be the neat. one mom and dad did and i'm trying to remember where uh i think it was close to pagosa springs because yeah, they, they stayed have, at pagosa springs up there. and then they drove somewhere and did one but it was just like a day thing yeah, like I, that would be went, a, I found one they went to him. one place oh, and then they got the to Redwoods? stay in that town for an hour or two because mm -hmm. i remember like they got cruise. off in eight and then went I, back but i want to do i want to do about and a they, two or three day train they ride loved it. there's one that goes from williams arizona that goes into the grand canyon i think that would be interesting yeah but that's I haven't done that. Do so it. see, I've got a lot of stuff I haven't done yet. I haven't been to Key West. That's on our list. Key it West. That's on our list. Uh, we knocked Willie out Willie Nelson was playing at Key West. Willie Nelson's on my list. I've Andy heard don't go all the way to Key West anymore. I've heard I, that. I want to I want to go. I want to see uh I would just to say Hemingway's there. house. Oh. Yeah. There's some things right. I want to do. If you do drive, there. you can drive to there, but they say don't stay there anymore. But, Dangerous or People need to get out. Different. Uh well, we've been to Providence. Where'd we go in Rhode Island? Different. 
Providence. Oh, Providence Town, the Providence. gay capital of America. Guy told me he said there's Lots a lot of, of skunk. A lot of gays there. I go, huh? He goes, what do you think about all the gays? I go, oh, I don't know nothing about it. Well, the person every that house has got a gay flag on it. Said, Lots of nudity. In and, Provincetown? And, no, no, in Key West. West. Oh, I think it's a, I think like, it's and like a lot of bars, swingers and shit. Yes, yes, yeah. yes yeah. like that. Oh, okay. yeah. And yeah, like the uh, pineapple club or something. Yeah. Upside down pineapple. Yes. Upside yeah. Down. yeah, they said they accidentally went to a bar that like everybody was basically doing the thing and mm. naked they, and they accidentally did it. They only went back three times. <laughs> yeah. Oops! Look, look where we are. Well, we're here. We might as well enjoy it. Lifetime membership. I don't know how that happened. But well, well, we're already here. That's one thing I'm proud of you two about. Y'all do go do stuff, and you take your boys to go do stuff, and I'm proud of that. Well, I think a lot of people get scared to what their kids are going to act like when they take them. You know, they're going to be jackasses. One way to learn how to act. No, I mean, I think our kids have always been really good. What I'm saying, because yeah, they have to teach them. They learn how to do it. I think so many people don't do it because they're just like, well, "Uh, guess what? They're never going to learn. I've got to take all this for the kids, and how are they going to act? You do, and blah blah blah. Figure it out. Yeah, you just do it. I used to have a video of Reese and Dylan arguing in Mackinac Island. Walking down, and they were just being not arguing, but just being the kids and do. stuff. The way they do, yeah. like and Jameson was following them, and they're walking in out of the food shops and stuff. And Discussing I thought, stuff. Kids are lucky kids. They've got to see so much mm-hmm. stuff and do things. And they don't even Together. realize it. No, as, you know, yeah, as cousins. But they've gotten to see and do things, and I, I wish more kids would get exposed. And That's, I hope they remember it. I yeah. do because yeah. I mean, let's be honest. What do you remember from? Ten three down. years old. Yeah. Not a whole Well, lot. it ain't because of me, because if it were up to me, we'd stay. Uh-huh. Of course you exactly. would. Exactly. You don't like going nowhere? No. He, he does that. He doesn't like change. He likes his normal daily routine. So he enjoys it when we go there. Get but there. the thought of getting there <sighs> So going to Maine does not excite out. you? I didn't want to go to Nashville. What about Boston? There were like there was like an, an a twelve hour window. He where literally, we were getting ready to dead. go. See, I wish we weren't going. I wish we weren't going. He did. He you had a blast. blast. I and had I, a great time I was, when I got there. And he does that. I was so excited to go, and I, my feelings were hurt. I said, "You're not excited to get to spend some time with your wife." Spending time with. Are you here. throwing that just shit down around again, Jesse? You just can't get over that. Because I enjoy spending time with him, Jeff. Well, well, do you enjoy spending time with yourself? With huh? my, I don't ever get to spend time with myself. What are you talking uh-huh. about? We'll do that more and get off Andy's ass. <laughs> I guess I'm lost so, on But that. yes, he went and he had so much fun. I, I, but, and like now we got the Mexico trip and I'm. You starting, are excited about what? that. Once you get your I'm floor finished. I'm starting to have a little bit of dread about that. I, it's usually lot. about 48. Mm-hmm. There's a lot on our plate. It's but, usually from the 48 hour window to the 12 hour window. Seems there's like, like one away from all that. 36 <laughs> hours away. When, like, you know, holy shit, we're getting to that window. 30 six hours in there where i'm like oh god well, i've told I him don't the, do the house stuff is gonna wait that's oh, gonna there. i mean do the things that have you I, have, have to I do. ever have i ever I felt like i don't. wanted to travel even before the house no so the house has nothing to do with it it's just the and way that i'm wired. traveling oh and then it gets time and i'm like my bags start packing i'm like oh god here oh. we go again we're leaving again. What is, our, our summer trip is, we're going to Boston and we're going to Maine. We're going to Boston. So to, to answer what your you, question, no, I'm not looking forward to that either. What about Boston? No, none, none yes, of it, Jeff. Are. None is. of it. What are you looking forward to doing in Boston more? What, I, I, I want to go do the, the, um, the uh, Hocus Pocus stuff. I'm excited so about that. So you're looking that. forward to Salem? Yes. Yes. Yeah. But I also enjoy, um, what I like about our trips is, when we stay in just like an open place where the kids get to run around and play. They're going to love Maine. You man. can do a little bit or you can just have family time. I mean, we I gotta find a bowling in, a, alley. in a beautiful place. I always, I always enjoy that. Probably my favorite trip that we've all taken together. I really enjoyed Michigan. I did too. That, that was, was really, really fun. Nice. I would love to go stay there again. Yeah. I really, really enjoyed it. It was a great, Luke's place. Their place is nice. and Spread you out just, enough that we could spread out, but we had so much yes. fun. And you felt really safe, and the kids just had so much fun rolling down that hill and chasing fireflies. Yeah, yeah. I thought so Squirrels. to point playing the wiffle ball in the backyard and stuff. I really enjoyed it too. Yeah, that was I fun. didn't like all the cross dressers on the beach when we went there that time. That was a little. Oh, uh, there what? was one. There was one. Oh, the yeah. one. There was one in Puerto Rico. <laughs> yeah, I'll never oh, forget that. Oh, I just said that. Um, 
Michigan was my favorite. Puerto Rico was my favorite. Well, Michigan's more than Puerto Rico. I did not like our setup at Puerto Rico. I liked the house. Right. I just wish I loved the house, the beach, yeah. not Reese. so much. The place we went to where Andy that, had to pee on Reese when he got stung by the. the, the, the I still gorgeous. think that might be the most beautiful beach I've wish ever I had been to. Isla's as pretty yeah. as that is. Jamaica. I've been to Jamaica. And Jamaica is beautiful, but you feel like you're in the ghettos of Detroit while you're there because it's just a yeah. shithole. It's I have a pretty a, place. And I'm probably one of those tourists that'll get kidnapped, but I have a feeling Isla is going to be just very safe, very mm -hmm. like you're not going to be on guard oh. constantly. Yeah. Cosmel didn't I'll, bother me. You I'll be kidnapped. I'll be kidnapped right away. Did Cosmel bother you at all? Well, uh, Port of Arda didn't bother the, me. The contractor that's uh, working on our house me, said that they're pretty positive his wife got drugged in Cozumel. What they do to her? Uh, he said he was, it was 9 a.m. She can handle her alcohol. She had had two drinks, could not function her legs. Couldn't, like, was scared Minnesota. to death. Couldn't. So they are yeah. pretty positive. You know, and she's a really good-looking lady. Michelle had that happen to her one time on a trip. At Lutes and Lodge. At Lute, I wasn't going to say the name well, of the place. A place in Mich uh, Minnesota. They burned down. burned down. They're out of business. Uh, Michelle, Third time. Michelle had a sidecar one drink, and she couldn't fucking walk. I couldn't walk up the stairs. I mean, one drink. I was like, what the fuck's going on here? <laughs> but why would they drug somebody that's with somebody? I don't understand either. Uh, maybe, hoping maybe hoping that they'll she... take me upstairs. Right. Or, that, or that she'd wander off to the bathroom right. by herself or do something like I that. I mean, one drink. I screwed them up because I didn't drink nothing that night. Alcohol, I had yeah. some coffee or so tea. You so you were able to like, take fuck. care of her. Damn it. Well, she would have had to drink. I wasted it. I wasted my roofie. Yeah. One roofie. That's why I, I like, like one roofie child. left. And I like <laughs> going with a big group because I'm sure if they see big groups of people, they don't feel like well, there's they can that one get straight cat that easy. wanders off alone. Yeah. The cause, Cozumel, though, I never felt unsafe. No, that's what we told so. him. He was like, I don't know if we want to go back to Cozumel. And I said, we. We loved it. The, you can the, have one bad egg. The resort I mean, was not. They needed a lot of work at the right. resort, but I would go back there again in a heartbeat. I love Cosmo. I wouldn't. Back I'm hoping that resort. I wouldn't no, go back to no, that no, resort. No, 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 no. But somewhere else. There it goes. That was, there it goes. That was part of that American nightmare. The guy that did the kidnapping, he wanted to be a rapist. But he couldn't be a rapist because he had a bit of a conscience. He finally did, but so yeah. So well, thanks for ruining the show for us. Yeah, 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 yeah you don't have to watch it now. He broke into like. A dozen different people's houses and couldn't mm. do tied it. them up and was like, All right, I'm about to rape you now. And then, like, Never when mind. the woman would plead not to, he'd like, I can't do this to you. Well, you really need a guard dog, <laughs> like, oh cut, him, cut him and leave, <laughs> cut him free and leave. Next time, so free. this doesn't I happen to leave. you. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, please don't do this. Okay. Well, bitch, you really need a guard dog or something. I'm. This you. was a lesson. You <laughs> right, you're lucky. Yeah. You're lucky because I'm spared leaving. You. I'm leaving now. All right, we've got two and a half hours out of this. And you got floor to do, and I've got stuff to do. No, hit towel today. <laughs> Bless it. Blow and it. now all of a sudden you're you're sneezing. Oh, I've got me it's allergic to Ollie. something. Okay, uh, next week we will have Wyatt from Mallard Bay on. We've got uh, a Possibly couple guys. Chandler Phillips, PGA golfer. P yeah, PGA golfer. So um, and y'all uh, had to recap. No, no, no. The uh, pattern pros. Yeah. Good. They All were right. fun. They were fun. Yep. Let's get out of here. Thank you, ladies, for spending two and a half hours with us. Jeff's about to sneeze again. Love you. Bye. Watch for deer. <laughs> there it is. Go check out our sponsors. Go check out Pacific Calls, BHP25, the promo code there, Boss Shot Shells, MLR Graphics, Sanfield Outfitters, Alpha Outdoor Specialties, Hemp Hill Farm, BHP, Mossberg, Double T British Kennels, Ducks Unlimited, Lucky Duck, Looking Glass Podcast, Shin Gear, Dirty Duck Coffee, and Dive Bomb Industries.